before we get started. I guess we are started. Hey, what's up, everybody? Rob here from Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. So today we are very lucky to have David Finch here again, donating some of his amazing time and talent and knowledge to help us with our artwork. Well, not me. I'm not going to show my artwork today, but all you guys. And we're going to both look at it, but uh, I'm excited to see what he's going to say about it. And I'll try to offer my two cents where I can. Uh, if you don't already know David Finch, obviously you probably already do, but He's been an amazing, uh, iconic artist uh, throughout, let's see, Marvel, DC, Image. Is there anybody you haven't worked for? Um, I don't think, I've never worked for Dark Horse. I've never worked for Valiant. So there are, there are some pretty big companies. I've never worked, never worked for Boom. I've got a few, yeah. Never worked for I, Ramp Studio Comics? Yeah, no, okay. How could I leave that out? That's, yeah. One day. Oh, One day. My resume. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't afford your rates, but anyways, uh, no, I, it's um, it's a pleasure to have you back. Obviously, uh, Dave's been giving me some great suggestions on stuff. Fantastic, you know, his ability to see into the work and just spot the errors. Obviously, that's why his work is so great, and it, it really does. You know, if I ever believe when people say things like leveling up, I think the best the best way to level up is when a pro looks at your work and they say, "Hey, you know, try this, do that." kind of the over shoulder effect um, that you would get in a studio. Uh, so that's a real strength of doing this. And as a, that's why I'm real excited to have him back on the channel. Um, plus you're just a joy to be around, Dave. Oh gosh, what well, you too. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. I got to roll the, I'm going to try to roll the intro. Okay. Wow. Where's yeah. this thing at? You ready? Yeah. Hands up everybody. And we're back. Okay, so now let's uh, bring on our first contestant. Allison? That is me. How you doing? I am awake. Oh, well, that's always a good thing. Well, yep. I, had to, I had to spend most of my day at like the motor vehicle, registered motor vehicle, so. Oh, sorry yeah. to hear that. <laughs> So what we'd like to do is uh, see two of your, your best pieces. We're going to look at two pieces from everybody that's on and, uh, and see what we can, you know, what we can offer in the way of insight. So what do you got? Um, well, I'm sharing up my screen if you want to do that. And I have two pages yeah. I did. Um, I don't know if you can... Yeah, you should be able to put my screen out. Yeah, I'm not seeing it here. Let me see. Uh, you have to share it on your end, I believe. Right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's shared. Mm, not seeing it. I'll redo it. Oh, you're, yeah, it's going to come up as another window, isn't it? Here, let's yep. find, let's see that, that again. Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. Wait, no, that's Alec. There it is, Allison. Okay. Yep. Add to stream. I'll get the hang of this one day. Yeah, no, it like, mm -hmm. all worked out. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, it? absolutely. It looks great. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to think of what to criticize right now. <laughs> I think the figures look, you know, great. I love the the second page, that middle panel. Actually, I guess it's the full. Well, yeah, it's a middle panel because there's one in the corner, a darker yeah. panel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it's a great looking figure, very dynamic. Oh, thank you. Um, actually, that's not even the corrected version. Oh, the corrected version, I made the star a little bit bigger and breaking the panel in the final version. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, yeah, I can see how the top of the star kind of touches. I, I'm guessing it's going a little past, but it, it looks like it's touching the top panel. So yeah. I can see why you'd want to change that just a little bit but. yeah I, I just made it a little bit bigger um so it breaks the panel slightly there and it goes a bit over her cape down at the bottom so i was yeah. looking at him like that's too much of a tangent for me so right. <laughs> and that's breaking the panel in a good way you know i'm i try not to break panels much 
ever when I'm drawing. And if I do, it's always that kind of like the big shot when it's not a really complex layout and you want to really just, you know, project that that big shot in the in the middle of the page or whatever it is. And only in one part, I really try not to, you know, break out of multiple sides of a panel. It starts to really fight, I think. Sorry. Is it the actual comic? Mm. Hey, could you zoom up a little bit on the first page? Or is that all oh, that's yeah. it in print? Okay. I could, um, I can definitely zoom in on things. Yeah, that's the only thing. The only thing, I mean, I, I love it. Uh, looks like it's got some good pacing there. Um, if I had to offer anything, it would just be maybe watch out for everything being slightly uh, too blended in the gray tones, where mm -hmm. from a distance it was harder to see. Now, obviously, when you're zeroed in on it and you got the page in front of you, you can really appreciate the detail and everything you've done. Uh, but that's all I would say is sometimes, you know, when you're looking at something from a distance, uh, mm -hmm. watch how it kind of blends together. But it, it looks great. That makes sense. It really does. I, I would say the background, I think, looks looks really nice, but where it repeats on the top panel or on the, the first panel, it, it starts to, you can kind of see the pattern. Yeah, it's computer generated. So. All right. Yeah. I cheated and then I textured it. <laughs> Saved okay. a bunch of time though, right? Yeah. Well, it's definitely an efficient way to go, yeah. And, you know, for depending on the style that you're going for, it can, it can really work. I know... My preference would be, and I know it takes longer and it's a headache, but I would want to draw that just because I can kind of, I can see the pattern repeating. And yeah, then, no, I, I definitely can. Yeah, that, that's, if I was going to do it now, I'd, I'd hand draw the whole thing. But I did this about a year ago. So you live, you learn. Well, not. Yeah, and you can still take what you do there uh, and, and just, you, you take your uh, pen set to an eraser. Like, is this Manga Studio? Or yeah. Yeah, I, do yeah I, would, I would just set that to uh, the eraser effect of the same ink pen and mm -hmm. just get in there and start erasing back and then uh, blocking in new shapes over top. And you can make a, a repetitive pattern look a little more natural mm -hmm. and still get some time savings out of the deal if you need to. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. And maybe just a little bit of you've got the black lines in the first panel kind of going down mm -hmm. because they're all they're all falling. Uh, if you just put like a little bit of white along maybe the left or the right side, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, just to kind of break them from the background. I think that would really oh, you know, pop yeah. them a bit. Just a really, you know, thin line just to, you know, pop it from the background. So it doesn't look like it's potentially lines. It doesn't really read like it's lines on the background to me. It reads like what it is, but I think it would make it a little more, you know, floppy. So change it up more like what I did on this panel where I have it yeah. under the white speed lines. I Yeah, white speed lines, but I actually like the dark speed lines, just a little white line right beside the, the dark one, like a ta like Yeah. Uh, as if you, you know, for me, I guess I, I would use an eraser and just erase along the line a little bit and it just mm -hmm. you know, gives it, I always do that with rain. I'll draw a bunch of black lines over things and it can kind of kill it a bit. Then I just use a little eraser and erase out along one side of the line and it it pops them out quite a bit. Hmm. That makes sense. Thank you. I definitely agree with that. That, that would be cooler. Hmm. And the last panel, it's a little difficult for me to tell what's happening. Yeah. And that, on on the second page. Oh, yeah. The, there's there's actually a page in between these. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, but um, I, I don't want to take anyone else's time i just like this page better so because it was more the action shot but, but it, it is the character from the first panel uh our first uh page fourth panel getting hit in the head with the star right um yeah, one of them is there's okay. two of them there one of them gets hit by the star the other one gets his um head crushed in by her staff so oh that's fun but yeah like so it's it's basically it's just a little bit difficult to read i think but it's um I'm start. I can see it now more than yeah. than uh, when I originally looked at it. And and what is the rule, Dave? Like when when you look at something, you're supposed to recognize certain things in a you know a brief amount of time, right? I don't know if it's a is there a second rule to that or no? 
I, well, I, I don't know of a, a time rule, but I, I do know that at a glance, it should be really obvious what's happening in a panel at all okay. times. Gotcha. And there are times that can be a bit of a challenge, but uh, I, I think because he's got a very long nose and it's cutting off of the panel. And so it's actually, I, I wasn't reading that as a nose. I, I couldn't quite. And and seeing the other page with the long nose, it makes sense. But just the way that it's done there, it, it kind of, I, I wasn't sure what that was at first. Okay. I, I think. Um, I think if it were me, I, I wouldn't have maybe went with a profile of his face quite like that. I would have done something a little bit more where you're like a three quarter, you know, so his nose could kind of project into the panel and you see you know, the stars kind of coming into it and get a little pers uh, perspective. You've got the perspective coming out towards you in the previous panel. And then if it went the other way toward him, it would read easily, even even in a silhouette. Mm -hmm. Or or if you're going to do a silhouette, generally, I would say you want to go. Um, I think the only way silhouettes really work is when, you know, if you've got the full figure in there and it's something that just reads as a, a black shape, you know, mm -hmm. and faces can be, a, unless it's, you can have a mysterious figure and he's standing there and you just see the silhouette of the head and that can really work. But even then you need to be careful and to see enough of the head to make it clear what it is like at a glance, you know, you can see the ears mm -hmm. and the outline of the hair and it's obvious, but the way that it's cut, I feel like it makes it not obvious what I'm looking at, certainly at a glance. Mm -hmm. And now that I know what it is, like it's actually really easy for me to see now because I know what it is, but I was, yeah, I was having trouble just instantly with that one. Yeah. Enough. I'll definitely take that to heart. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't really sure if that was working well, so I'm glad I heard that change it. So. Yeah. But overall, it's looking nice. So, all right, we're going to yeah. get to the next person, mm -hmm. and I uh, hope yeah, you'll it, stick around, Allison. It, thank you, Allison. It, really, they're beautiful pages, so, you know. Thank you. It was, uh, definitely. It, Hmm. I appreciate have to look it. at and say what's wrong with it because you know there's a lot mm. that's really working. Definitely, mm. yeah, great action. Thank you very right. much. Yep, thanks, Allison. Yep. Bye. Okay, so now let's uh, let's add in. Oh, I'm not even going to try to say his name. Just going to bring him in. He's going to introduce himself. So, oh, hey guys, my you, name is Dustin. You, oh. Well, that was easy. <laughs> it's it's I know. Jar. It's a, yeah, oh, it's a, that's what I couldn't say. Dustin, I can yeah. say. All right. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Thank you for taking the time. Pleasure. I got to go to work soon, so you don't have to take 10 minutes. So. Well, yeah, what do you got? Uh, so I have here, see if you can see it. Let me hold it really, really still. Yeah, if you hold it. Wow, it's looking like it's coming in real nice. Yeah, it looks actually really great. It's it is a little tough to see, to be totally honest. It's yeah, very. I wish the camera well, was a I, bit better because that's that's looking sharp. It's uh, I posted it in the Discord that you have, David. So if you, it's in the oh, finished art pieces. If you want to look closer, sure. okay. I I did it pencils. This is actually like the first one I left pencils actually, and uh, it, I thought it looked pretty good. So I was like, man, I don't want to mess it up with the inks. So. Yeah, I've done that a few times. <laughs> yeah, I thought it, I thought it looked pretty good. Let me get the whole thing in there. Not yeah, really it, I think yeah, it looks great. Uh, I will go on the Discord afterwards because the truth is, it's actually very difficult. Like I can see, you know, generally, and what I can see looks really good. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. but it's it's very difficult to see any kind of detail at all. So I'll take a look I know, at the I can Maybe move it closer. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, the anatomy amazing. looks great. The light looks very consistent. Yeah. I feel like he might be losing his elbow there just a little bit. Okay. Right. Oh, right, right there. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, I can see actually the elbow is there. I, I Just below the elbow, it's kind of coming out pretty hard from it. Okay. It's coming out just a little bit far, I think. Here, I'll, I'll pause. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see so yeah, the, yeah. okay. the, the forearm's too I got big. It. Okay. Little forearms aren't that big. All right. <laughs> no, that makes a lot of more sense. No, yeah, I use cool, that dude. figure pose pack. I use that figure pose pack, and it helps a lot. My my issue is I can't like drop on my brain that well. So my well, wife tells me I'll 
just got to practice. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can certainly light and finish a picture very well. And if you can do that, uh, you can you can draw them yourself really well. I would say um, the advice I always give for that is is just gesture drawing. You know, and it's it's gesture drawing, but then you, you also need to take it further and then get um, anatomy working on it, you know, and, and that yeah. can be a bit more of a challenge. But once you know your anatomy and for me, the, I actually was going to do a YouTube video on it this week. I, I recorded it and it turned out awful. <laughs> it was the worst. Oh. So I, I pulled up and I did something totally different. I'm, ah, I'm, put it up anyways. We'll you know what? It. I'm setting up a website. I'm going to do like <laughs> yeah, a put up blog anyway. post about it because I think it actually work a little better. The whole video is me yeah. talking into the camera, which I can't do. Oh, so, okay. But oh, anyway, sorry. point being, um, I, we, I start with gesture drawing, just simple gestures. Uh, and then, you know, your anatomy on top of that, which you clearly understand, I think, very well. And then it's a matter of, of just drawing your gestures and putting anatomy on it and, and just working through the bugs, you know, until it, I, until it really starts working for you. Uh, that's why I love Bridgman so much because he's so great at constructively showing figures and 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 parts of the body in in different positions and using like, blocked forms to to turn things in space. It's you know he it, it's easier to show than to <coughs> excuse me than to say, but uh, that's really the next big step to to get that part of it. The lighting, I think, I mean, you have a huge head start because it's looking really good. Definitely, thank you. Here's my here's my other one, which might be a little easier to see. Let me go this way because uh, so you can see it better. Yeah, just hold it nice and still. There we go. Yeah, my arms are shaking through my workout this morning. Sorry. Yeah, that looks really great. I think yeah. it looks really really good. I mean, all I the way around. Uh, I actually kind of used a statue that I saw a picture of, and I was like, oh, I like that form. So yeah. then I pulled from a couple other things because, like I said, I can't conceptualize very well from my mind. But I use some other drawings, like obviously the face I used one of yours, Dave. Obviously, it's pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a couple other things, like a leg position from different artists and stuff that I kind of pulled together. And I try to use like the suit that I like. So, so I'm going to say that I think you're completely wrong because you're saying you can't do it yourself. But you know, picking it up from other artists and taking different things and putting them together is how we all learn. All like right. everybody. That's really that's the way you do it. You will find. You know, you draw figures enough, and you get you get better and better at being able to just do it yourself without having to look at anything. But yeah, um, I think all the best artists always look at different artists and different things for influences. It's not something you stop. I still do it. So yeah, I would I'd, I'd say coming up with a figure like that. You know, you get a general pose from you know statue. You add different things to it. Uh, that's how you learn, and that's I mean. You know, that's how you do publish work too, really. It's yeah. Nobody works in a bubble. Right. Okay. I think you know, if you're just taking something and it's a picture somebody's already drawn and you just do that, then that's swiping. You're not swiping. I mean, that's your own picture and I think it worked great. No, I, I do swiping a lot too, just for practice. I mean, I, I, that's how it started actually a couple of years ago. So I haven't been drawing comics in maybe like two years, maybe ish, or drawing like this style. I've always drawn, but maybe not like inking or anything. So, I mean, well, you're moving fast. That's excellent to yeah. hear. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank you. Definitely. I'm, a little, I'm 30, so it's, I'm a little late to, to art anyways. Well, so. yeah, <laughs> if you've only been doing it a couple of years, you're moving pretty darn fast. That's some, that's some uh, good looking stuff. Yeah, February 30's 2018, young. I started. So, uh, <laughs> 30's it was young. Bond drawing. I was like, yeah, I think I watched the. Uh, Oh, I watched somebody else anyways on YouTube and I was like, oh, oh yeah, box office artist. And I was like, I like that. And I was like, let me try this. Like I've been a fan of comic books. So thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for the input. I really appreciate it. So, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, Dustin. Pleasure. And I will right. definitely back. my discord and take a look. Yeah. I think you, you commented on my Ahsoka Tano when I drew actually, and you said it was oh. just my proportions were off. So it's the same one. So you know what? I'll I work on proportions. Yeah. I'll work on proportions. So. I'm, I'm trying to get there. Thank you, guys. Yeah, you I really appreciate it. Up, yeah, keep yeah, up the good work, Dustin. Thank you for being here. Right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay, and next we've got Lance DeBoyer. <laughs> hey, it's Lance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, know, we know this guy. Yeah. Yes. Well, thanks a lot. Good to see you guys again. Pleasure, yeah. yeah. Good to yeah. have you on here. Thanks. So 
real quick, I just want to say what I did because I, since I was fortunate enough to be, you know, on the last critique with you guys mm -hmm. and, you know, you, you gave me feedback on stuff and I hope everybody that, you know, heard your advice to their work and mine as well, that we all went back and tried to change and fix things. You know, because yeah. sometimes you'll get some feedback and it's easy to say, oh, yeah, thanks. Great. I'll do that the next time. I'm like, I have the drawing right here. Fix it. Try to fix what I had. Right. So that's kind of what I did. I just I went right back to basics a ton of times with things. And uh, I'll share a screen here with you, Rob. OK. Oops. Let's see. It. Uh, let's see. And there. They'll probably pop up as the other window because uh, so pretty much all I did I didn't do a ton of finished work I I've just been you know going nuts and in pages and pages of heads and I know you're all familiar with this stuff right so uh, just just tons of that and, and things so what I did is I, I put the old two panels that you guys commented on last time at the top can you see them okay yep okay and I redrew them and I just, I just kind of pasted everything together in Windows. But so I redrew, there's the one and the other and and tried to take that feedback about, you know, chopping off at the head and where the, uh, like kind of the horizon and the focus was. And I just wanted to see your thoughts if I got the people more in the panel this time. Absolutely, yeah. They are in perspective and I, I can really see, you know, uh, I'm gonna say that that uh, Nightcrawler still has his, his cut off right at the foot, which is not a choice I would want to make, truthfully. Yeah. But they look like they're all in the same perspective. And, you know, it looks like the shot overall is working. I think it, it it's far, far better. Absolutely, yeah. Good thing. Um, and that head, the Wolverine head, in just a separate panel there, is uh is great like you were and i'm sure you can see now that you're looking at the old one uh um, <laughs> yeah. how it was kind of coming off and it was yeah. you know it was pushed out it's a big difference the way that you drew it there i think it's oh, it's actually no chair had something to do with that i don't know it's weird it's crazy <laughs> how did that help <laughs> yes. oh that's great that's yeah. Great. oh yeah. and i i forgot to mention that in the intro didn't i yeah oh, yeah yeah, I'm sorry, man. Anyways, I got to stop and say, Lance just plugged it. Thanks, Lance. Uh, basically, Dave just did a Skillshare uh, class, everybody, and it, it's fantastic. I submitted my own art. It was, you know, required viewing, in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah, please check it out. If you're not a fan of Skillshare, you can at least go there for Dave, right? Just go there for Dave. And but uh, it, it's good stuff. I second that notion. Right, right. Thanks, Lance. Well, thank you, really, both of you guys, for, you know, I, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Absolutely, Great yeah. Class. Yeah, all in drawing superhero heads. So, and it, I, I'm gonna say I don't know if it was a class. I'd love to, you know, but that head is so much better. So, you know, if the class helped, I'm thrilled. I think it looks really, really good. The lighting looks really good on it. Um, that that first panel, <clears throat> I think, I think it works. I, I do think that Nightcrawler. I wouldn't have cut him off right there, but. And it just proportionally, he's he's, I think he's actually very short in the legs. So I, I would say, or his head's a little large. Mm -hmm. Like the other ones are are fine. I think their proportions are good. His head's a little large, and his legs are a little short. Uh, and I also think um, Storm's head's too big. Yeah, but. Um, but yeah, it's it's looking really good. What I would recommend next, uh, Lance, is um, going through uh, going through some comics and just doing some. Uh, I don't want to say this. Basically, the way that I really learned composition, I learned it through uh, how to draw comics in Marvel way. But mostly, really, it was going through comics that I really liked, where you know people did com uh, compositions that I liked, and I thought, okay, this really works. And you know, you don't need to find exactly the shot, but you find something that's fairly close, and you kind of use it as a bit of a template, you know? Because mm -hmm. I, I do feel like it's it's certainly a lot better. You know, they're they're around her more. Uh, they're really still not connected though. They're all kind of individual elements, and they're all evenly spaced individual elements. So just compositionally, it's it's uh, it's still not, mm -hmm. I think, as good as it could be. Um, 
Yeah, because as soon as you overlap them a bit, it starts to look a lot more dynamic, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I, I think when we were talking to you the, the last time, um, I, I was showing or in, you know, saying this is, you know, using the same shot this is how you could make them all fit together. I think really, and they do. So you got that, which is great. The next step really is starting to really comp uh, concentrate on composition and working. And, and, sorry. No, oh. it's interesting because I actually just in, in sketching and horsing around, I said, okay, if I was going to re totally revamp this panel, what would I do? And two, two of my other versions was almost kind of an, I don't know if you'd say like a three quarter up shot where, you know, you see Cyclops like a chin view and there's, you know, maybe storm flying overhead. You see, you know, so uh, I tried to, th or, you know, a dramatic thing is almost an over the head shot. You don't see them in detail, but their shadows are cast across the floor. You know, I see, I get, mm -hmm. I know, and I guess inexperiences, you know, where I, I kind of defaulted to fix kind of what you guys said, but yeah, I see what you're saying about like composition. Yeah. Actually, I, I like the idea of, of a bit of an overhead shot with you, you see the shadows coming in and you'd have that big doorway kind of framing the shot. I think that would really work, actually. I like, I like that idea. Hmm. I would say, um, I'm gonna do a quick version because I, I wanna show you what I've got in my head and hmm. I'm not good with the words. <laughs> Easier to do it this way. Okay, I've got everything. I need to fix my setup here. So I've got my microphone right where my drawing arm is. All right. Yeah, good good luck. It's always a work in progress on that end. Yeah, if I move over a bit. All right. Yeah, and Lance, I would also think about a, just a, one more quick tip on this one is like uh, really think about the posturing of the characters too. Like for me, Wolverine's always, no matter what, he's always a little bit hunched, you know, and I do like how you got Cyclops kind of pointing up like that. You know, it seems something almost – like the noble, you know, commanding gesture. He might do something like that. But I almost feel like the posturing, just you can really do a little bit more with the posturing of each character. Okay. You know, even um, Nightcrawler just had, you could put like one arm down, the other one arm up, and he's kind of just, you know, crawling in the scene a little more. Mm hmm No. Yeah, no, I can see that for sure. All right, Dave, you want me to, I should probably zoom up your window, huh? Let's see, how do we do this? Solo? Let's give them the solo layout, folks. <laughs> so I'm drawing, actually, it's looking a little small on my solo layout even here. Let me come in on my thing so I'm not drawing super tiny. Yeah, come on, Dave. What's the deal? <laughs> Still pretty small. Hold on. <laughs> All right, that's a little better. Okay, so I got Wolverine in the foreground. I'll put his arm out here. And then <clears throat> I'm going to put Cyclops here. He's looking up at Wolverine, and I could, you know, I, I've got Nightcrawler beside him, and they kind of connect with Wolverine's arm together, so they're kind of overlapping. And then um, I've got her, you know, floating overhead here, and I'm dividing my panel into like a rule of thirds. And I don't ever do this all that formally, so you know, but I did want to, like, really formally. I should probably have his head here, but the one piece that's outside of the this composition is her so I, I made sure to put her kind of in a you know rule of third spot right there and so she's floating up and then you've got the the door kind of like this and just you know compositionally i think that works a little better or if i wanted to go straight onto the shot the way that you have so the door is still directly behind <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> and i have to say i do like this Crouching characters are great because I can crouch Wolverine. He's in the foreground here. And then put Cyclops behind him here. And I'm kind of looking up at the whole thing. So my perspective point would be just about here. Cyclops is too hot. <laughs> Hold on. I do this for a job, believe it or not. <laughs> All right. Let's fix him so he's not, you know, looking like he's standing really high. So here he is here. And then I could put uh, um, Nightcrawler kind of here behind him and then put her, you know, she's floating up above here. 
and the door is kind of like I still have it kind of angled. That's yeah, I know both of those. That that makes a lot of sense that way. Just kind of getting in on the picture and just changing the angle slightly, right? Yeah, and it puts Wolverine closer, so you get a nice big you know foreground shape here, and then these two are kind of one item here, and then she's further back toward the door, which is here. You can kind of see the city in the background there. And, you know, like a window here. Actually, I like the idea of a window there. And then uh, if I went dark, so I'm going to put a shadow across the whole wall. Yeah. I'm, it's such a mess that <laughs> I'm making a bit of a mess. Sorry. But if I put a shadow all through here and then here, yeah, and I've got my window, whatever, I, I'm kind of framing his head, especially if I go dark with it. I don't want to go totally dark. I'm just going to, you know, put it, give him a rim light. And then he's dark against that window. So it kind of pops him and they can, I'll raise this a little bit. And the doorway there can actually frame all of them in their own, like the rest of the characters in their own section of the panel. And I kind of like that. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. Awesome. Well, thank you. Very nice. Neat. Let me, uh, Hold on, see if I can stop. Perfect. Bam. Well, yeah, I know that uh, that chews up most. That, that I mean, I shouldn't say chew up. That sounds terrible. But that's you know most of my time. But I appreciate the input. I, I had a second one. You don't have to critique it. I'll just throw it up here. No favorite favoritism, but uh, it was just a draw. I've been doing draw alongs with every one of your streams, and then just trying to at least modify the poses a little bit. But um, yeah, that was one. This was my wife's pick to share. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It really came out great. I think it looks amazing. I love it. I, you, uh, yeah, you really got the motion going. I, the the feet look great. Like, yeah, I I'm just saying it looks great. I'm sorry. It looks great though. That's it fun. really does. It looks and cool. I I feel like right now, yeah, this kind of shot you actually do, you know, very very well. It's when you're going into, um, you know, panel composition that kind of thing where you know you're having more trouble but the nice thing is that stuff is actually i think it's more learnable really mm -hmm. you know it, it's harder in some ways because there are a lot of different types of panels but it's well i'm sure it's not i don't know sometimes it feels harder to me now you know when i'm really struggling with the panel but yeah. uh, i think the hardest part is getting the anatomy and the lighting and you know making your figures look uh uh you know dynamic and and appealing mm -hmm. And it really does. That shot, I think, really worked well. Thank you. Well, again, thanks a ton for the time, you guys. And uh, between now and the next one, that's the stuff I'll work on is those compositions and basic figures in those environments. Yeah, yeah keep keep up the great work, Lance. Really appreciate it, man. That that does look a lot better. Great. Thanks. Awesome. All right. We'll see you next time, Lance. Yeah. Take yeah. care. All right. And next, patiently waiting, we have... Matthew, what's up, Matthew? Oh, I think your oh, mic's off. Microphone. Yeah, I can see the, the little. There it is. There it is. You guys Perfect. hear me? Yep. It's working. Yep. Yes. We can hear Great. you now. We can hear you now. Why did I get to follow like the professional? Like <laughs> his <laughs> stuff is looking great. Yeah, it's right before me. Um, so uh, I've been drawing for about a year, and I'm 100% YouTube taught. And I started with some Jim Lee things, uh, you know, just started like watching his live streams a long while ago. And then, uh, Dave, when you started yeah, he's, doing he's your, pretty good. yeah, he's, he, he has a, he has a future. Um, but, uh, then when Dave started doing his, his Sunday good. night streams, yeah, that's sure. now the, uh, the, the Monday night stream. Monday, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I liked it better a little bit when it was Sunday, but yeah. I get home as fast as I can to watch the Monday one. Um, mm -hmm. And, and I've learned a ton and Robert, like I've, I've awesome. done a couple of your skill shares and uh, it's really been, it's really been, I love like just how much there is to learn. And I just started working on inking uh, maybe okay. a month or two ago. Um, and so I kind of have three different modes in which I uh, kind of cycle through. And the first is like a straight up copy. I look at someone else and I just try to almost, you know, not quite line for line, but it's like I can learn kind of what the intention maybe of the artist was by copying directly. And then I'll do something in the middle where it's like, maybe I'll take yep. uh, the pose from uh, an artist or I'll take uh, the composition of the artist and then I'll do my own entirely, my own detailing. 
And then I'll do something where I'll try to do it entirely out of you know imagination, create a post from scratch. And those are not surprisingly usually the worst of the three. Um, and then I kind of just cycle through those. And like, if I'm feeling imaginative, I do the third mm -hmm. one. And if I'm feeling like I just want to kind of, you know, go very minute through it. Um, what, the first one I want to show is something that was from uh, Jim Lee's Icons book. Uh, and it was an original colored thing. Let me see. If you can't see it very well, I can get a digital, like, th off of my Instagram. Yeah, I can zoom up on you a yeah. bit here. Hold on. Let me know. If, it, if any of these don't read very well, I, have, I can share my screen. And I'm not even sure which character this is. Yeah, what's but, that character's uh, name? I I don't know. I'm not. It's it's from Image, obviously, but yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I forget the character. His main, yeah. the main character from Wildcats, right? The lead Maybe. character. Oh, I, Spartan. Spartan, yeah. Maybe. I think so. I feel yeah. Like, I feel like I looked it up and he had it a looks sharp. Mask, I mean, but, yeah, yeah. I think he did really great on the foreshortening and the hand coming out. I would just work on the symmetry of the face a bit. Yes. Yeah, um, I noticed the eyes. Kim. Really pay attention to Dave's Skillshare where he really explains. Yeah, he explains that breakdown. I'll tell you what, I always get the eyes crooked to my characters. Um, and since watching his class, it's noticeably gotten better for me. And it's really just boils down to that, um, the underlying structure, right? You, yeah. you struggle with that, give yourself more structure, and then bam, it really helps. Yeah, he'd, he'd mentioned, in fact, that, that, that looks pretty good, straight, I think. The, the straightforward shot is like the hardest because of that symmetry. It is. And you actually made yeah. it even harder because not only huh. is it straightforward, but it's also tilted up, which is the yeah. hardest yeah. angle. So exactly. it's, it's a difficult type of a face to draw. Um, I think that uh, if you were to look at it in a mirror, have you done that? Um, I have used, I often use my cell phone. So I take okay. a picture and then, you know, it looks very different. Yes, oh, and uh, so that that can be a big help. Um, I think that would, you know, you you really very quickly see where it's it's not lined up, and it makes it easier to to fix. Uh, and I I would say his nose looks like it's it looks fine, but just in terms of the structure of the nostrils and that mm -hmm. kind of thing, it looks a little ill defined, you know. Oh. So I I would say. I would work on that. The one thing that I, I would say about the way that you're studying, because I think it's actually a really great way to go. <clears throat> uh, I, I really think you learn uh, fastest when you're picking up the, you know, the other people's work, uh, but you can't really get that much out of it if you only just copy it. Sure. The way you're doing it though, you know, copying it and then doing something where it's a bit of a mixture and then doing your own uh, is a mm -hmm. great method to do it. I would say though, that uh, you want to devote some of your time just to gesture drawing, really simple yeah. gesture drawing. And you yeah. also really should devote time to uh, more focused anatomical study. Now, I don't see a lot of anatomy on that one, but just generally, you know. I mean, actually the second one might be perfect for the things you're suggesting. So the second one is kind of the my take on the, I believe it was the New 52, the, num the, the cover of the first issue of Batman, uh, new 52 and it was also this was also my first attempt at doing multiple uh you know characters on one within one page i don't know i haven't had the guts yet to do an actual paneled page but the uh, this was my first where i have multiple uh people on one and i i started with just the general shape of where they were and then did the rest entirely on my own and i actually did something a little weird here where i did batman uh in ink but the bad guys all staying in pencil and in fact, doing kind of their their uh, anatomy using just kind of you know smudgy shading versus going for for hatching and the rest just for kind of a fun and playing with a few different kind of styles at once. See what I liked, how it looked. Yeah, that's great. I I never have the confidence to just you know uh, really go out there and, and try things like just shading with a pencil and that kind of thing. I you know I do everything kind of the same way. I try different styles. It ends up just looking like me because I do the same thing. So I think that's <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Um, I, I think Batman's anatomy, by and large, looks pretty good. But I would say it looks very... Um, his arms, I, I think the general shape is, is good. Mm -hmm. um, but the actual anatomy looks like it's a little... It's not quite there. Um, and you know, in his stomach, I, I think it looks good, but it doesn't look like it's really connected, uh, mm -hmm. as well as it could be anyway. Um, 
and you know what his would, what would what would add to making it feel connected uh, that's really developing um a really solid anatomy that you can do it, what you want to do is is draw figures and draw all of the anatomy just with not not like a finished drawing but mm. um here okay i'm going to show you what i mean <laughs> I need just names for this stuff so I can just say it and it makes sense. <laughs> but since it doesn't, it's so much easier just to. Okay. So. All right, let me give you the screen here. So I'm going to draw a, a chest in basically a similar position here. Try and move it so I'm not coming off the page. Got. It's like a drawing of vest, you know, mm -hmm. and I can't remember how his head went. It doesn't matter. And then I draw balls for the shoulders. Uh, and this is all my gesture drawing. And then his stomach is kind of coming out like this, attaching to his pelvis, which is like underwear. And uh, I'm just going to put one arm out. Like, I, I can't remember exactly, but it's not really the point. OK. And so then from here. Uh, what you want to do is is get your anatomy to the point where you can you can go in there and define full muscles all the way drawn through start to finish like football shapes basically so his serratus is that right robert these uh, muscles here I always say serratus, but yeah, that, that is what they are. Serratus down to the obliques. And the obliques are these ones. Yeah, yeah, anything below the serratus, it looks like they're the serratus, but the top ones that interlock and go out to the lats are the serratus, and the ones that look like they interlock and go down from there, that's all, yep. the, all the obliques all the way down to your, your love handle areas. Okay. I'm actually I'm determined to learn the names of things properly. It's never been a problem, but now that I'm trying to teach it, I'm just finding it's it's a major limitation. I never know what my muscles are called. Oh, that's a pain. Yeah, but I I need to learn it. Yeah, same here. I'm working Can't on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's there's always something, you know. So his stomach muscle, I've got it drawn connecting up to his serratus here. Obli those are the obliques. Obliques, sorry, right? Yeah. Obliques, All right? <laughs> okay. And uh, serratus here, and. Yeah. Uh, and so here would be his, I guess, his lower oblique, the the larger kind of head here. Yeah. And I need to connect this properly, so let's connect that up. And I, I, what I'm trying to make sure to do is actually get all my muscles really connected, so they're they're a full structure as opposed to you know just drawing in a bit here's a bit of the stomach here a bit here like you really want to have that now you don't want your final figure to look like this this is your understructure but if you can draw figures from multiple angles when you're um looking at other artists try and do that and the more you can do that the more your anatomy will hold together and really kind of make sense so can i can i kind of repeat it back to you to make sure i understand sure. what you mean um so basically like everything every area should be filled with something identifiable that they all connect and then obviously you're not going to have all the lines there because they have skin and fat and such but exactly. but like that every piece that is something there's no just like blank area of the body it's all mm. i should be able to go that's that and that's that and that's that and that's that to every inch basically. exactly is that what you're saying yes. okay yeah yeah i'm gonna and no go ahead no it it's a headache to do that, you know, and I actually I don't do it as much as I probably should now because I've been doing it long enough. I, I sure. cheat, but I, sure. I do find actually there are times I cheat and I end up with something that just looks floaty, you know, and uh, so I still do this when I'm, you know, I if I struggle, yeah. I could imagine so. it would almost be kind of fun, though, because it's like it's kind of like filling in a puzzle where, you know, you got to have to have a piece for every single little empty spot. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it really, it, it exposes weaknesses so quickly. You know, yeah, yeah. Like my lower leg, uh, some of the, the muscle, they would be extensors, I guess, for your toes, basically. Getting those in mm -hmm. and making them look right. Uh, when I'm drawing, I generally just, you know, I draw some shapes to make it kind of look like that, but I don't sure. really know. And I'm I'm actually, that's another thing that I'm really working on is, is actually 
figuring out some of those muscle shapes that I really never did properly early on. Just so, you know, I, it's amazing how much trying to teach it exposes what you can't do. It's like, so, it's not just, it's not just memorizing the lines, but the objects that are underneath them or that no, the yeah, objects that and, make the lines. And then, you know, yeah, thinking of the, thinking of those objects as being, it's like a machine that all works together. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's a major portion of what you should be studying. I, I would definitely, you know, devote some time to that. Great. I think that mixed with what you're doing, it's a it's Great. a good, you know. You don't you don't you don't have to critique it, but I'm gonna sneak this last one in just because I did this one after you did your your uh, the armor texturing and all of that, and it's actually one of your arms from uh, uh, the Dark Knight. I think it was. I think I have your unwrapped one, and so I was yeah, kind of proud cool. of okay. getting that. Yeah, getting yeah the, I was great. I'm kind of proud of getting the getting the the, the glove to look close enough yeah, to the, the way the your glove, glove looks. <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah. sharp. Yeah, Thank your you. uh, your shaded kind of transitions are really great. It's so often you see, you know, that kind of that kind of thing done in a really patchy way, and it doesn't hold together. is is a nice, you know, rounding. It really does. It looks great. Yeah. Thank you very much. See everybody. If you sneak in a third drawing, they're going to give you the best compliments on the third. All right, I'm a, I'm asking you for <laughs> that one, Matthew. All right, see you, man. Take care. Thank you very much. That was yeah. great. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Matthew. Okay, and next we have Zephy, who doesn't have their mic on. Oh, wait, no, oh, they do. Oh, hi, hello. Hello, um, Batman. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a webcam, so I can't... Sh uh, yeah, I... Wait, uh... What are you going to show us? I can't... Or, or is, that, is that the picture? You did a great job. Mm -hmm. No, that's not... <laughs> that's not it, is it? All right, sorry. Wait, for some reason... I can only share one at a time for some reason. Oh, here we go. Add to stream. Boom. Oh, it went oh, black. It oh, there it is. There we go. Now we're back. What's up, soups? Uh, yeah, this is my most recent drawing that I did. It's always good to show you more recent stuff. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. It looks really good. I think. Um, His face looks good. I do feel like he's very, very dark in some of the shadows on his face. And it's... Uh, it, with uh, that, uh, for some reason, when I scanned it in, it kind of darkened the image for some reason. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was I was going to say that, yeah, you, you really want to be careful about going too dark in one spot and then not having it reflect in other areas. So, you know, you want your lighting to be, you know, uh, consistent. But if, if it's, you know, a result of the scan, then... I hear you. I would say um, I think the arms look good uh, structurally. They look really good. They're proportionally. He he needs a little bit of work. I think just your general proportions. He's a little small in the shoulders for the size of his arms, uh, and a little small in the just the chest cavity. So I would work on proportion. Um, yeah. That's something I would definitely devote a little bit of time to. You know, a figure uh, your average. Um, figure is, you know, actually here, I, I did a, I'll never find it now. I, I don't know why I bring this stuff up. I had this thing. Hold on. Oh, you know what? I don't even have my desk up anyway. But yeah, you want to, like, how to draw comics in Marvel way. He's got uh, figures broken down eight and a half heads tall. I would do that. It's a headache to do to make it all line up. And it, I had to do it. It's, it's very worthwhile to do. I think it really will help. And then just in terms of your anatomy, uh, I do feel like your overall broad shapes are working, but it, like in the leg, uh, it, I can see where uh, your knowledge of how the leg anatomy works is is not there yet. So it's something you definitely want to put some time into. Yeah. <clears throat> I uh, I use a lot of reference. I usually build up pose by myself, but I use lots of referencing uh, for like, for example, uh, the costume. Sometimes if I can't find something... Uh, if I can't think of how to do something on perspective, I'll have to look at, for example, Jim Lee or your work too. Well, it's a great way to go about it. You know, it's, it's how I learned for sure is, uh, you know, looking at how uh, another artist pulled something off. And, you know, if you want to draw comics, the, the best way to go about that is to look at, you know, years and years of great comic artists, like, you know, John Buscema or whoever it is that you like and, and breaking down some of the decisions they made that does have to be, uh, 
backed up by a good foundation though. And by that, I mean, you need to have solid proportions and you need to have a solid understanding of anatomy, you know, going in. So it, you, what you don't want to be is in a position of drawing an arm from an artist. Like if you're doing something for me or from Jim Lee and, uh, a lot of times when I'm drawing my arm, the anatomy is not really actually right. And it's not consistent from arm to arm either, truthfully. And so, and also the lighting can really have a serious effect on, on what's showing. So you want to be able to draw, you know, that arm or that leg uh, fully anatomically and then light it yourself. And then what you can do is look at how another artist approached it and see the decisions they made and you know, you see where they maybe went off with their anatomy a little bit. And hey, if you like how they did that, then you can do that. But it makes it an informed decision. Yeah, uh, my, I'll, I'll show you my other piece now. Uh, do you see that? Not yet. No, let me see if it's pop. Oh. I keep forgetting it pops up in this other window. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. There we go. Cool. See, yeah. I, I like that one better. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, it looks really good. I, I think he's, he's large in his legs compared to his shoulders again. So that's definitely a yeah. proportional thing that I would, I would look at. Um, but yeah, like the, the pose, I think looks, uh, you know, nice and it's not a stiff looking pose. Like he's got some, some weight to him. Right. Yeah. There's a bend to the, the posture, which I think is good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still struggling with like some perspective issues and like, for example, the hands uh, on the, his right hand, I, I struggle with hands because uh, in, in perspective and a lot of muscles in perspective. So I, I'm doing like really like, uh basic poses right now uh i can't mm -hmm. like do dynamic at all well i would say you need to definitely start and don't worry about drawing finished pictures with color and actually making finished art what you really want to and, and doing this is great i would i wouldn't say don't do it but you want to devote most of your time to uh if you have trouble drawing your hands in different perspectives the truth is that there's a a, a form and a structure to hands for sure you know you've got your basic palm shape and your thumb shape and, and you can learn those things but you can't really learn how to draw hands all in one go they are such a different they have so much movement and so much flexibility and they look so different from different angles that you actually need to kind of develop a mental library of hands and the best way to do that is gesture drawing mm -hmm. and okay. i have filled so many pieces of paper i actually I, i've done that even recently i found claire wendling uh is a uh, one of my favorite artists and i think she draws great hands and i thought you know i love how she's doing some of these i want to give them a try and so i did like a a huge piece of paper just gesture drawings from a book that she did and uh i come out of it in my own drawing and I, i'm not you know going through her book and copying her hands while i'm drawing my pages but the difference that it made just doing that was was big for me and i can still see some of her hands you know i'm i'm drawing it and i know i'm drawing one of her hands it's for memory that's how you're supposed to do it, but yeah, I still kind of swiping her a little bit. I would say that's what you need to do is is if you can't draw a leg in perspective or, or figures in perspective, that's what you really need to work on it or work on it. And you really need to work on getting your basic figure blocks working. So like a a vest shape essentially, like a volumetric vest shape for your chest. And then a tube, a flattened tube for your your stomach and you know lower back area, and then basically underwear for your pelvis. You know, tubes for your arms and legs they have shape to them, and you'll learn that with gesture drawing. And then anatomy on top of it. Uh, well, thank you guys for having me in here so much. Yeah, thanks, Zephy. Uh, Keep up the nice work, bud. Yeah, absolutely, it's a yeah. pleasure. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Bye-bye. Okay. And a uh, quick question I have for you, Dave, and hopefully it'll help everybody else. Like do you, when you do, st when if you even remember doing those calculated studies or those studies where say like hands, for example, like you're just talking about 
you ever sit down and just say, I'm going to draw 50 hands, different hand poles or 100? Did you ever think of it that way? Or was it more like you went in specifically for the hand poles that you needed to learn at any given time? No, I, I really would just, and the way that I learned, I did that not just with hands, but with heads. And I, I broke down um, everything. Like I would spend a week and I would just draw arms and I would go, I would draw arm anatomy for, for you know, an hour, a couple hours. And then I would just go through different books of different artists, my Bridgman book, that kind of, and I would draw arms from all kinds of different angles and just fill books with it. You know, and I did that with everything, hands too. So yeah, I, I don't think you can learn how to draw a hand by, and you really want to avoid getting good at one pose for your hand because next thing right. you know, you're That's gonna have this great looking hand pan, yeah, and it's gonna be every your hand pose. It's everywhere. So, right. Um, right. yeah, I I really believe in, you know, like a deep dive. Take a day oh, or right. as much time as you can, and then just draw a stack of them. Okay. And draw them quickly. So, you, you know, you also right. go for that gesture. Yeah. I, I don't want to hold it up too much, but the one other thing I want to say too, is if you do look at an artist and, and copy a bunch of their hands, you don't want to just do that. You also want to uh, draw a hand, look away from your reference and the hand that you just drew and try and recreate it on your own and see how much you actually kept. And that's definitely. And then you get that realization when you bring it back and you compare it again, or you see how much, creative liberty you took with it you might impress yourself that way yeah yeah all right so let's bring in jeff i think that's hey. how you say it jeff yes. uh, the two f's yeah okay. kidding i i got it right. how's it going jeff not very good what do you got for us uh well i want to try to share my screen real quick okay if that's possible. um Yeah, I'm just gonna hold them up. Take too long to okay. share the screen. Ah, that's why I'm old. I don't know if you could see that or not. Join the join the club. Yeah, maybe we make that full screen. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Keep forgetting I got this little button over here. This thing here we go. Cal talent hunt. It's almost. Yeah, it's starting to clear up, right? Uh, just what? There go. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's autofocus. It, it's a it, it can yeah. do that. Is that darkness? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's from the yeah. uh, Top Cow Talent Hunt they had. This oh, year. gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, it. it I, the whole panel works together as a panel. It looks good. Right. No, oh, that's really good. Perspective really works, and I really like how the the stonework on the on the sidewalk which looks like it was took a while to do right. uh it it recedes back nicely yeah, it's something that's so easy to, a little bit it's so yeah. easy to uh, do that and have the whole thing look like it's you know it's tilted up kind of you know, directly yeah. at the camera because you're not getting smaller and smaller progressively and also you broke it up in the back i think yeah that's perfect i love how you did that i think uh it's better. truthfully, oh, it's, it's a, better. That's uh, that was actually a hair better right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I like the clothing wrinkle. The folds yep. look good. Yeah. Yep. I do think that his his one arm is smaller than his other arm. Yeah. And proportions. Yeah. I would I would really um, focus on on drawing a, a really solid figure without the clothes on first. Just with yeah. all your underdrawing, you know, it doesn't need to be a tight drawing. You don't want it to fight your final picture, but it it does look a little like it's like I think the hand posture looks good. The, it all fits, but there are some proportional issues. I, I think you would have solved it if you had underdrawn it a little more thoroughly. Um, I I wouldn't have put the uh, playset in the background. It's such a a nitpicky thing to comment on. Yeah. But that, that the monkey bars in the background there, I feel like they they just kind of detail like that. Something that's really specific like that, it kind of comes off the panel. It doesn't really add to it. I I think you'd be better off without that there. That's total. Oh, yeah. It's not totally within a park, but yeah, I don't even know. That's yeah. not even a useful critique. I know I wouldn't put yeah. it in there. Uh, one <clears throat> other thing I, I would say though is it, the bottom of the monkey bars is yeah. just about even with the bottom of the wheels of that buggy. And yeah. so it looks like it would be, you know, 
about the same scale. So I, maybe that's why it's it's looking a little off to me. Oh. And I would definitely work on the trees. The buildings look oh, good, okay. but the the trees. Okay. You know, what I would really recommend, actually, I think for those kinds of trees, the best thing you could possibly find is Hal Foster. He had all his his Prince Valiant books. You can get them. They're these big format books. I've got a ton of them, and it's the best. He's well. This is old stuff. I think it's from the forties, fifties. It's it's old stuff, but it's incredibly well done, and you get a lot from it. Okay. And trying to draw a tree for a comic from like a photograph is is almost impossible. You know, it's yeah. there's so much interpretation. So if you use an yeah. artist, like a, a really good classically trained artist, like Hal Foster, I, I think you would really help. There are there are some kind of evenly spaced, almost. Uh, I want to say they're a little blobby, the shapes in the trees, but I don't want to say blobby because it doesn't sound nice. But I mean, because look, the whole page is very nice. Say what really. you're going to say, dude. Yeah. But I mean, they, they definitely, it's even... like evenly sized in space and, and just the shape of them. It, it, I, I think the trees could definitely be a lot stronger. And I think that's something you could do like instantly. Right. Try, you know, even if you just look up uh, Hal Foster's um, Prince Valiant on Google, and I'm sure you'll find okay. a lot of great stuff. And yeah. I, I would say, yeah, just you know, sketch with it and see what you get. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other page. Uh, almost a phrase I'm going to show very well at all. Oh, let me pop that back up there. Solo. Oh yeah. Yeah, I wish that camera was a little better, but it's it's looking yeah. cool. It's dark yeah. and gritty and eerie. I like that. Yeah, it looks great. It really does. I think it's a nice looking page. And it is a shame because it's it's a lot of dark pencil and, and yeah. that kind of it reflects the light a little bit, pencil. So it's yeah. it's a little tough to see. Like the bottom panel I can't really see. But oh there we go. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. It looks really good. I think the faces look good. Yeah, it's a nice looking panel. Robert, you have any comments? Uh, not really. I mean, like I said, the clothing looks good. The you know, we've got some different expressions going on there. Um, get the fist coming towards the. I'd say maybe the fists, you know, I like how you did that where you brought the forearm out, and that's always a tricky one to do with the foreshortening there. But uh, And I, I do the same thing where I tend to draw the knuckles or the pat, the, the uh, plane change of the uh, first segment of the fingers with the knuckles real flat. And yeah. and you can really get a lot more out of that. If you squeeze your hand and just look at it, your your fingers will round, especially yeah. the, more, the more you squeeze, the more they round. So you know, try to really take advantage of that. Uh, and, you know, like Dave will mention, look at somebody that does really great fist hand poses. That's a pretty common one. You'll be able to find that shot and just take some cues from it. You can really make that hand look uh, more expressive. And, it, you know, the rest is already doing so well. That'll really help mm -hmm. push it over the top. Yeah, absolutely. I'm afraid I made the uh, bad guy look too sympathetic. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to make out all the. I imagine those those little darkness demon things. It's hard yeah. to really see that on the camera, but it, it's yeah. looking looking pretty good. Yeah, for sure. And uh, one last thing, real quick. I did this the other day using your drawing that you did of Superman. Oh, that's yeah. That looks great. And you know what? That anatomy looks like it all holds together. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm not done with it yet. This is just the rough inks. Um, I have this little trick with the serratus. I draw a zigzag and kind of fit me out from there. I don't know if that help if that works or not. I'm trying it. You're trying it. Okay, it works. I'm doing it from now on. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's actually a great. I just did it. Totally works. <laughs> That's great. I taught you something. Yeah. And there you go. Yeah, I well, love it. Goes wrong, so comes wrong. <laughs> well, thanks, Jeff. Keep up the nice work. Uh, yeah, do you get any more questions? Oh, 
you know, I, I asked you the other day about camera angles, you know, they're really helpful then, like, you know, we're deciding what camera angles to use um, when for different shots and panels. Cause I'm like, I'm too often uh, going like basically just one camera angle for the entire page or the pages, like a straight on camera angle. Cause I don't know how to, you know, vary the different camera angles, like up, up top or down below, or, you know, what's going to work, what's going to look best for the page to tell a story best. But I, yeah. you, you helped me out there and I want to say thank you for that. Oh, well, you're welcome. I'm, I'm glad it was, it was helpful for sure. Yeah. And, uh, you know, good to see a fellow lefty in the, in the, <laughs> in the business. They should put us in charge of everything lefties. Yeah. You, me and Eric Buss will do it. There you go. <laughs> hey, I'm a lefty too. Yeah, oh, and, and Robert. Sorry, I apologize. God, <laughs> leave me out all the cool kid games. All right, so thanks very much, Jeff. We'll hope to have you back thank on you. again soon. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. Take care. Thank you. Okay, so next we have drum roll, please. Charlie. Hello, Charlie. You've been patiently waiting. Hey. How you doing? Waiting patiently. Good. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm going to share my screen. All right. Let's see it. Trying to read through some of these comments. I've been slacking on the comments, folks. Sorry. I, I, oh, there we go. I can't, I multi have I can't multitask. Up. Is it working? There we go. All right. So let's share that and see what we got. Oh, cool. I like that building right away. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I always love that effect, you know, the shadow on the angle and the, the reversal of the brick lines. It just works really well. Yeah. So it's a little three-page story that I did with my friend. And it just... Yeah, like you're moving the camera angle in and out. I love the aerial shot. That uh, is that a what do you call it? A three quarter downward angle. I don't know what that is, but I isometric? like to look. Is, is that ice? Because there that... are video games that are like that, and they call them isometric. So oh, gotcha. I think me. I don't know for sure, but but I like yeah. that. I like that angle uh, shot looking down into the scene, mm -hmm. kind of staring at the, watching the criminals and then jumping down. Yeah, that's cool. I would say the corner of the building in that panel that is leading down into the panel, the last panel is kind of lining up with this cape more than you would want. And then the tips of the cape are up against the top of the panel. So I just in terms of a tangent, I would just be careful with that. But yeah, I see uh, it too. Okay. Okay. Not a big deal. I, I would say, I think, you know, his, his face, the big face looks really, really good. I, mm -hmm. It's got a lot of character to it too. It just, you know, it looks really nice. I think proportionally it works really well. Uh, his eyes might. Okay. Maybe it's a taste thing. I, I want to say his eyes might be a little bit long, but then, you know, his, his eye that's further from the camera, uh, further from us. In, in, a second. In the, it's coming out almost kind of past his cheek a little bit. So I would just be careful with that. Okay. Um, and then the, the first panel uh, I feel like he's, you know what, it, it works though. Like it, part of me is thinking that he, he's not really in perspective with the perspective that you got for the building. Like he, he looks like he's, you're seeing him a little bit more straight on. And I, I think what would fix that is just that his leg that he's got the one leg that is forward and then the one leg back uh, and, you know, coming out at an angle from his body. That one, I think, is it should be lower. And mm -hmm. I, I think actually just structurally, it's coming out too far from his, like, from his back. I, here, you know what? I'm going to show you this one, too. I want to show you what I mean. And I, again, can't explain a thing. Dave's, <laughs> Dave's better at drawing than talking. Okay. So. I was kidding, Dave. <laughs> yeah, you know it is true. Okay, uh, so it, 
Here I am really having to try and use my visual memory a little bit because I, I can't see it up on the screen right now. Oh, so. I can bring it back. Actually, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, because I not being able to. There we go. Okay. Let me see if I can give those two equal sizing, which would be awesome. No, that's not putting in there. Hold on. Oh. That's just that okay. one. This is where I just randomly click buttons and see what we get. All right. I'm going to let you just look at it visually and do your thing, and then I'll zoom up on it. How about that? Yeah, because the point isn't really, you know, watching me draw it. It's okay. Uh, then his body. So you got his chest shape here. And his pelvis would be basically here. This leg, I think, was fine. And then uh, this leg, if his pelvis is here, his his bone, the um, femur, I guess. I always draw a ball for it here. So I, I, what I'm drawing is here's my, my pelvis shape. And you consider this to be like a flat surface. Here, let me zoom up there while I explain that. But and then your, uh, you have like a bone that kind of comes out here, and this would be your leg bone, you know, and that's how I was at attach it. And so if you draw a leg on top of that, it's going to look like that. Okay. And so with that structure, I would have the leg coming out here. And the way that you have yours, it's coming out of his. And so you've got the, actually, if you could bring up the. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's angled kind of this way. Um, I think if you saw a lot less of that leg and it was down like that, it would really look like he's he's you know up on yeah in perspective. So that that and also uh, again with that leg, I just feel like um, this muscle here is very very pronounced, and I, I would really. Draw the leg as an overall, you know, you've got your overall shape for the leg like this. And then uh, because the light's coming from here, it would hit a lot more along the bottom of the leg. I mean, if it's a tube, it would be, you know, the light would be all, the shadow would be all here and then all light here. So if you're much more shadowed here, then when you get up there, you would maybe even just see like a little connection this is where these two connect, so it creates a little bit of a pocket there. And maybe a little connection here. You'd see a lot less, but the way that you have it defined there, it's, I think it's overpronounced, that's all. Okay. But by and large, I think the figure looks really good. And the whole thing just has a great feel. I love the cape in the last panel. Thank you. Yeah, love the style of it overall. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I really you love like Andy Kubert, and that's where I get a lot of the inspiration from. Let me go to the second one. Yeah, I like your storytelling, mm -hmm. and your your buildings are great. I mean, a lot of people um, that's where they struggle. You know, a lot of times it's like their characters, and here it seems like your characters are working better too. But it's like, uh, I mean, you're doing great with the perspective and the building, so that's that's a good plus. Yeah, yeah, it, it, a lot of it it reminds me of Kevin Nolan. You know, it's like an early Kevin Nolan almost. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, with, that's a good thing. Yeah, the buildings yeah. look great, and uh, there's it just has a, a really appealing look to it. Um, I I think he's got shadow on the fourth panel. He's got shadow on his his arm, his sleeve, but then no shadow on his hood, on his head. And I, I think that to me, it would if there's going to be shadow on his arm, there definitely should be shadow on the back of his hood also. Right. Right. Yeah, especially below the head on his back. You want to really put that shadow back there because it pushes that head up, separates yeah. it from the shoulder. In panel four, right? Yeah. All right. Then I got one more page. All right, last one. We're, we're supposed to do two. Right. Everybody's <laughs> No, you're fine. Everybody's thinking in that third one. Real yeah, we're all stuff. doing three here. That's all, all right. Out. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. What do you think, Dave? I, I like the first two better. Something I think the last panel. I feel like it's a, it's a good it's good storytelling wise. Um, the poses strike me a little off. Something about that. Maybe it's the thickness of his legs. 
Yeah, I, I think proportion. So. Yeah, but the storytelling is good. Yeah, I I really like the, the way he's angling his head. Like their overall stance, I think looks really good. It's right. It's the legs and like his feet are very large for his head, and just his legs in general, I think are are too big, and hers too, uh, just proportionally. And her oh, hand yeah. is is very very large, uh, in the last panel. But you know, um, you could really keep the legs in that pose and like everything the way it is, and just adjust the proportions. Yeah, and I think it'd be great. I I do think. The first panel, it's a little difficult for me to tell if that's a panel or the side of Batman's head. And it also lines up directly with the panel below it. So it it doesn't read as well as it could. If it is a... Yeah, it's his head. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, I, I would say that the your line along the side of his head is very, very thin also. And because he's in the foreground, you really... You want to... The closer something is, the thicker the lines get. So you have... You know, you don't want to have like a, a perfectly thick, big line on something, but you do want to um, go thicker with your lines in the foreground and then the middle ground, you go, you know, thinner and then the background, you go very thin. And that really adds a lot of depth. Good inkers are actually great at, at helping with that, too. But, yeah, it's a very thin line on his the side of his head. So I think that with it lining up with the panel below and just with it being so thin, it it takes a second to kind of read. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but overall looking good, Charlie. Yeah. Keep up the nice work, man. Thank you. Thank you. And just appealing, appealing artwork. I just Definitely. like it. Yeah, good style. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, take care. All right. And next we got Johnny Cage. Now let me let me address real quick, uh, because I see people you know, saying in the comments, trying to get in, get in, can't get in. This thing's flickering like a bunch of people trying to get in. So unfortunately, all I can see is the order in which people do come in. Uh, and we just have to move along like that. So forgive me if you've been waiting. Hopefully we'll get you in. Uh, but it is what it Hi. is. Hey, what's up, Johnny? How you doing? You switch my camera. I'm waving. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. All right, so what do you got to show us today? Just a second. Okay. Yeah. Do we lose him? Oh, I think he's setting it up on his end, and then I can pop him back in, maybe? He's doing what I did when we started. Yeah, I think so. You're infecting people, Dave. Great job. You're like a virus. <laughs> yeah. This is the I Matrix. Hey, SCS Powerlifting is here. In the middle of a workout, but wanted to say hello, Mr. Finch. Hi. Well, You're thank nice. you. And thank you for the super chat. That's, you know, very much appreciated. And I should be working out too. You know what? Last week, I had a Robert, I had a live stream last week, and I said, I'm going to work out. I'm doing it tomorrow morning. You did, did it. it. No, no, you did it. I, 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 yeah, I did it. Any of it? <laughs> nothing. I did like nothing. a push up, something. Uh, you know what? I, oh, hey, one mighty R is here. How are you gonna draw that? Uh, how are you gonna draw anatomy hello? if you don't work out? Yeah, there I you know. go, Johnny. I'm here. Oh, oh there okay. you are. Okay. All right, let's and zoom me up a bit. Picture. Yeah. Give you the solo layout. Nice. Hey, that's got some uh, ascension type stuff going on. That is the character, right? Or no? I love Ascension. <laughs> love Ascension. We all do. Especially it, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I miss it. It would be a fun comic to get a chance to do again. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Fingers are crossed. Yeah. Uh, I. It's Again, it's, it's a little blurry, so apologies, but uh, first of all, I want to say the things that I really like <clears throat> my favorite thing on the whole page by far and away is, um, and I don't know who it is. It, I, I want to say almost Aquaman, maybe. Anyway, you see him from behind. He's holding the staff. I think his arm from that angle looks phenomenal. His back and his legs and his butt look great. It's a weird thing to say, but I mean, <laughs> nice. You know, it just, it's a really good looking shot. And I really like how you did the fade in the background there. It's just, I, I like that panel a lot. Thank I you. think it, it looks really good. Um, 
the face that's beside it, I th- he's wearing glasses. It looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I. I'm, at a glance, it, it looked like his eyes were a little strange, to be honest. And it took me a bit to realize that it was glasses, so I could I could see how that could happen. I do think one eye is a little larger than the other. Um, oh yeah, right. But I, I think the the frames on the glasses, just the way they're drawn, it makes it a, just a little confusing. I would, you know, maybe reference some glasses just to make them look, you know, and really draw the. And I'm assuming you did this anyway, but you know, draw the face first and then draw the glasses on top of it. But. Yeah. Yeah, they're them being totally dark like that. They're just shadowed against his brow. It it reads like actually very large eyes at a glance. Oh, right, right, yeah. Um, and if you lift it just a bit, so we can see the the bottom. Yeah, I think both of those faces look really good. I think they're very well done. I love the mouth. It has like a bit of an anime kind of a. Uh, inspired feel, I mean, you know, definitely, yeah. That was yeah cool. I was looking at, yeah. at Ber- Berserk when I, drew, when I drew that. There you go, okay, yeah, and it, it looks very, very good. It's a great looking figure swinging the staff between them. Yeah, I think it's a strong page. Um, definitely. yeah, I like that third panel. I, I love that character coming out of you know, with the wings up and the, the pose that you have there, and the way that you. Yeah. Uh, pick the shadows just right, the light hitting the leg just coming out of the shadow. That works really well by itself almost. Like it's it's amazing how simple that is, but it works so well. Yeah. Thank you. Do more of that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so moving on to the next. Oh, cool. Yeah, wow. nice, nice cityscape. I, I like that. I like the building up close. That's cool. Really great. And yeah, I love how you framed it with that figure in the dark. Like that actually is a really, really strong panel yeah, all the way around. I, I meant that actually that one. Yeah, that one totally works too. The one where he's jumping off the roof there. It's kind of, a, you know, it's a side long silhouetted panel totally works. Um, Thank you. But that first panel is it, it, that's uh, a step above. I mean, you know, I, I love it when you see a really good, strong framing element like that, because it's a complex panel. There's a lot of detail, which also looks great. Um, and the perspective is perfect. You know, it's it's dead on. Wow. Yeah, it really Thank is. You. I wasn't but confident that, in that. Yeah, no, it looks it looks really good. But I just think that that figure on the balcony, you can't miss him. And it's just really nicely done. Uh, I think the next panel, he's kind of, you know, he's leaving, leaning over the, the balcony. He's got a drink there. Uh, I think that that panel looks really good. I'm, it's a little difficult to see what's behind him. Oh yeah, I, I tried and to I, put some furniture, furniture in there, but but it uh, okay. I, I do feel like you're, yeah, you, that that right there. I, I think you you struggled for sure. Um, yeah. That one. Yeah. You know, but that's, it's a small enough thing, but it definitely, I, I think you would have been better off to actually just put like a, you know, the, like a door, you know, with a, like a glass door with, okay, what do you call it? You know, like the, the squares you know I'm talking about anyway, and the last panel looks great. Let's start with the squares. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay. So no, this but... one is, is just to show that I've been putting your, your tutorials to work, oh. both the clothing ones and, and the background textures. Yeah, that's really, that looks great. And, you know, he looks like he's got clothing on and I can totally see all the form underneath it. You know, it's all drawn through. That's very, very nicely done. It's a, it's a little tough because it, it it was showing up really well, and then it, now it's it's really a little it's tough to see. Yeah, it's blurring. I love these cameras. Yeah, but yeah, and there I think goes. the face looks face looks really good. It's fading in slightly. Yeah, you have incredible uh, shading that you're able to do oh. with a pencil, like on the wing. It's it just gives it a lot of depth. I think it looks really great. Yeah. yeah, definitely, Johnny. Keep it up, man. Thanks, guys. 
Yep. Thank you. And uh, hope to and see gotta, more. Hope to see more from you soon. We got oh, a super chat happy. from Charlie yeah. Adranius Parks who says, "Hey Dave, love your work and your videos. I've been working on modeling tone, now gesture drawing. Can I send you a Wolverine?" Uh, you know what? I, I've got a Discord, and there's a great community there. I would put it up on there. And thank you so much for the super chat. It's very much appreciated. But yeah, join the Discord. You can actually find it in the description of all my YouTube videos. So if you go by there, and you know, please go by there. But yeah, just check it out and uh, post your work there. All right. And next we have Tomic, I believe. Who's this kid? All right. Co <laughs> co cookie stash. <laughs> That was for something else. Come on, don't be holding out on us. Share All the right. cookies. Right there. All right. All right let's give you the screen. Oh, I got more studies. So, this, yeah, and I have a picture from the next one, but this was two weeks ago. I haven't been doing a lot of studies because since of school. Oh, everything. looking so, good. Yeah, These no kidding. Two weeks ago. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I think Dave, Dave's going to have some competition here pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. You are uh, doing incredibly well i mean this is great to see this one's a little too long this this forum is a little too long i could have shortened this a little bit uh, not bad i'm I sure would... it's it doesn't strike me as too long to be honest i i'm kind of losing just below it that oh you know what okay the shoulder the structure in that shoulder you definitely need to work on mm -hmm. um, yeah yeah it's uh, it's going off quite a bit. The best way I know to, you know, actually, here, I'm going to show you. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you the master. I'm going to bring out my Bridgman. And you got to see how he oh, does it. Right here. Okay, hold on. Uh -huh. I don't have mine. Oh, you got I got it. I, have I was going to say, I have this one, but Dave will get mad at me. This, I was just studying, like. Burn <laughs> Hogarth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Don't show that. Okay. Yeah, go into his shoulder construction. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, right here. Shoulder masses. Uh, where is it? Let's see, right here. now, who Dave, who told you about Bridgman? Who was the one that was it, Mark? No, it was actually uh, Kyle Hotz. Okay, oh man, I'm losing pages. All right, uh, one... should I zoom up on that? I can't find the shoulders. I'll show you those. Let me see, it's probably a little dark. Right. There you go. Hmm. Okay, I'm seeing your point here. Here we go. Oh, okay. There. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the, the chest connects to the arm. You can see where it connects to that, that bone. Mm -hmm. And then the shoulder just extends it through. Uh, and they've cut the shoulder off to show that here. But what's on the other page there? There and yeah. Okay, so I want to explain exactly what I mean. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you. I knew it. I knew he was gonna do this. <laughs> Help it, yeah. All right, those little eyes. Ah, nice. And Tomic, I really like. Uh, I really like the legs. Like he's saying, there's some adjustments that need to be made in the shoulders. He's gonna show you that. Mm -hmm. But I think those legs are looking really sharp. So yeah, keep doing those studies, man. That's the way to go. All right, let's give uh, Dave the screen for a bit. Just when I need it. I'm going to take a quick nap. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> I'm paying attention just like every other student here. Okay, so I've got my basic thing. All right, so let me try and get this microphone out of my way again. All right. So I've got my bicep inserted like this. There's a small muscle under here. And then the forearm, which we're not drawn right now, but there it is. OK. Um, and so for your, your shoulder, your chest, it connects like this. So this would be your chest area. Uh -huh. And then this would be your shoulder. And it can be a little confusing because it's easy to think of it as two separate things, and it's really not. But what it is is you've got this muscle here connects up here. And then you see, so the front front head of your, your uh, deltoid here, the middle head here, and, uh, and then from there, mm -hmm. 
you have those muscles that connect up underneath and it just keeps fanning out. So, you know, from the top, uh, there's one head, two heads, the other head simplified, and then it just continues over the chest like this. And so it goes basically like this. And then you've got your clavicle attaching in here. And so it's more simplified than what Bridgman's doing. I love Bridgman, but there are times that he can just make a, a simple thing seem very, very complex. And then, you know, look at, uh, I would I would really suggest, you know, look at um, some good fitness photos, that kind of thing. You can find really well done shoulders like this. And when you know where the muscles go, generally, you get a really good sense of it from that. But yeah, it's the structure. You want to have your deltoid all up here mm -hmm. and then connecting down through into the chest here. So that's what I mean. Oh. Yeah, because as soon as, as soon as your arms raise, your shoulders raise, the shoulders roll back. You know, it's good to picture them really rolling back and all those muscles kind of pop up. So, oh, yeah. we lose them. Oh, no, oh. we lost them. No, he's coming no back. So oh, here he All right. So, do you get what else you got, Atomic? Uh, wait, hold on. Let me see. Uh, all right. Next one. This Wolverine that I did. And this was for uh, the general studies for arms and legs. Yeah. Let me see if I can. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's looking really good. I mean, you know, I, I've been watching your art come along now for, what has it been? Almost four months, maybe four months now. And mm -hmm. uh, it's been pretty incredible growth in that period. You know, like that, that's a very good looking Wolverine shot. I think that, you know, honestly, what's most impressive to me is is all of the anatomy studies. You know, I and I say it all the time, this is what you need to do and this is how you learn. And I find it is, unusual to find somebody that will actually do it you know every time i i just so you know it's 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 nice to see somebody really taking that advice and benefiting from it i think you're you're uh growing incredibly fast and can i show a third page oh yeah yeah because i have a, a a page full of gesture drawings from robber and you and Greg Capullo and different artists. Let me see if I can find it. There's a ton of bridging studies. I can't believe I was just in that same category with David Finch and Greg Capullo. Hold okay. on, hold on. I got to pinch myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sweet. Those look good, man. Yeah, yeah they really do. They're looking what? so fluid. It and looks like. They're yeah, I'm sorry, Robert. No, I was just gonna say, and that's where it all starts. You really, those are really worth the time and effort spent. I, yep. This one was from Dave. Uh, Dave, your your video, Dave, and this one was. From I recognize Dave's it. Page. No. Yeah. And this and this, which one? Greg Pulo. This one's from Greg Pulo as well. Uh, this one's definitely from Robert. I know this one from yeah, Robert. Yeah, I did recognize that. That's awesome. <laughs> It's so funny that you could see that even through such a small sketch. And yeah. just a ton of stuff. They um, they look like they're work. easy for you to do. It doesn't look like it's a challenge for you to do those right now. So, And that's the goal is to get it to the point. And you want to keep doing it anyway. You never want to stop doing those. But yeah, you want to get to the point where it just they just start flowing. And they look like they really are. Oh. Another one from Robert. Oh, I love from one of oh, the, yeah. one one of the videos. YouTube videos. Yeah. And I took that for just the legs purposes because I was still studying legs at that moment. Oh, more okay. legs. Yeah, keep it up, man. That's that's what oh, yeah. it takes. And then and then when you can learn to, you know, bring it all together. Um, you know, that's where all those studies they just kind of culminate together and then you piece together these characters and get better and better. I have one art buddy that used to call uh, Call the work that he did Frankensteining, you know, Frankensteining the characters together. I always thought that was pretty funny, and that's really what you end up doing, you know, just piecing together the puzzle. Yeah, looking good. So thanks, Tomic. Um, we're gonna move on to the next one. You good? Do you got any more questions for Dave?
Um, no, that's pretty much it. But thank you. Thank you. Yeah, th for the opportunity of showing you my stuff. Definitely. Yeah, it's always a pleasure. And it's great to see it coming along like it is. Yep. Keep up the hard work, buddy. All right. All right. So now let's see. We've got you guys patiently waiting. Thank you so much. It's Anthony. Let's bring him in. How you doing, Anthony? You got to turn your mic on. There you go. Hey, guys. Hello. Hey, all right. Look at Hi, you. You got, the, you got the setup going on over there, don't you? The <laughs> snowball uh, mic. I'm a podcaster, so I have to have gear. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Anyway, um, all right. So I guess I'll just jump into it. Rob, I'll save you the trouble and do it on my end. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the less buttons I got to push, the better. <laughs> you see, he did that with one button, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. He knows what he's uh, doing over there. Yeah. I'm like having to close it, go back. <laughs> it doesn't work for me otherwise. I don't know why. But. Anyway, so I'm in my mid 30s and I've been drawing almost my entire life. Um, and, you know, I kind of started out almost right away doing more of a painterly style, just more realistic stuff. Um, the Deadpool. Kind of doing that, that kind of stuff. And there's Pennywise's face. Yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> that's great. Um, but uh, one thing I could never really master was comic style. So I've been trying to uh, tackle that in the last couple of months. Um, so this <laughs> this is something I first thing I did. Uh, I actually just kind of ripped this almost not line for line, but pretty close from Dan Jergens um, in Action One Thousand. Um, so nice. yeah, I mean, I, I kind of tried to put my own spin on it, and just as far as pose and little finite details. Um, Kind of lifted from Jergens a little bit, but tried to focus mostly on my own style. Um, yeah, yeah, it it looks actually really good, and it, I mean, it looks like you're trying to do a, more of a comic style, uh, and I think you're pulling it off for sure. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> and I mean, I'm sure you guys can relate. You know, being an artist, you're your own worst harsh, harsh critic. So, um, it's like, I look That's at my own work. True. Yeah, look at my own work, and I'm just like. This is crap. I need to have somebody else tell me it looks good. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so this this is what I've been working on. This is kind of my big project. Um, back it out here. Um, yeah, this this has been what I've been kind of working on in between, you know, home life and, and work and stuff uh, when I can. Um, this is... Uh, mostly my own style or i mean i've kind of like drew inspiration from mostly like um sarah pacelli and um mm -hmm. and george uh, jimenez um but, uh, anyway yeah that's that's kind of what i've been working on the last couple of weeks um i still need to put like a i want to put like a cityscape in the background um and uh yeah i i actually asked you i think it was earlier this week dave in your stream um about uh adapting realistic faces and yeah. uh, so that was kind of helpful um this uh, kind of a backstory on this is um this is actually a tribute for my my uh my late brother um and so i kind of used his likeness for the face um i don't know oops I had it pulled up there. Yeah, sorry for your loss, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank, thank you. But oh wow, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But anyway, so I mean, that's kind of what I'm working with. I'm still kind of trying to develop my own look, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's that's always years in the making. Yeah. That, that style, <laughs> you know. Um, I would say I think the figure overall looks really good and the finish is is really good. The legs, the anatomy is, is uh, not bad in the sense that the overall leg shape and the lighting is good, but the actual musculature definitely needs some work. It, it's not really in there 
okay. the way that it should be right now. I think the arms are stronger that way for sure. And the stomach and um, serratus and obliques <laughs> and, you know, uh, that stuff is all looking really good. Uh, I do feel like you got just a little bit small in the cheek leading to his chin, just a little. And it's raised up just a little bit too close to his mouth. Uh, so, uh, on here, here or, yeah, here, uh, there, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, sorry, I'm just clarifying. Right side, uh, the other side, right, other side. Okay, there, yeah. Just where it, it comes because it, it, it takes a curve in toward his mouth, and I, I feel like it, it's coming just a little bit high there. And you're okay. you're you're doing a, a, like a caricature, a little bit. Like it's it's not like a strictly realistic shot of his he, face yeah you, you know you, you your advice was let me switch back here um your advice was kind of to um basically draw from a real image and kind of like scale it down and that's kind of what i tried to do yeah well uh, my advice really is to uh open up your picture whatever it is like if you have to draw like this if i have to draw like this anyway i cheat any way that i possibly can and so <laughs> I put it up on Photoshop. I size it to exactly the size that I want. And I put my page up to the monitor. I turn off my lights and I trace it. That's I, the best way I know how. You know, it just works. And <laughs> it's a likeness. Come on. Mind blown. Yeah. You know, I don't go around doing that all the time. But definitely for likenesses, if it's really got to look like, like somebody, I could spend all night trying to do that. And, you know, it, it it's not in my skill set. So... But obviously, you can't do that if you're going to do something that's that's more. Um, if, if you want to go for a bit more of a stylized look, that's that doesn't work too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I was saying, I mean, I I wanted to kind of steer away from more like um, you know, like like I could think kind of like your style, Dave, where it's more of a or a darker tone to it. Yeah, and keep it more lively and fun, just yeah. because it is you know of my brother who was a very kind of goofy and. <laughs> crazy guy so yeah um, you know you know who does that style real well i think is j scott campbell he'll share a yeah. lot of um uh, caricatures he, he's like a big fan of drawing caricatures of uh famous people and then it just makes sense you look at his work and you're like oh that's where he gets that it's like he wraps up a little disney style caricature style all into his and it gives it a more animated kind of lively vibe and you know so there's nothing wrong with that um that that's what I thought when I saw your picture there. Um, and then I, I would say that like with the legs and that really just pay attention to the silhouette. Sometimes a silhouette can really make things easier for you where once you, you know, look at a, the silhouette to the legs so much, you're like, Oh, I always see the one, you know, bump from the medialis is down here and the lat lateralis is up higher. And, you know, you, you just kind of start memorizing those silhouettes that might help you spot issues like that. I think. Okay. Yeah, I, this, I mean, as far as the legs went specifically, um, I was overall fairly satisfied with how this one came out. But this one, like I stared at it for hours trying to make it look right. It's just kind it's, of... It's just too even. You know, if you look at it, it's just an even kind of cylinder going down, right? Mm -hmm. And the legs just, they're, the legs are lopsided a bit. You're, the muscle, I'm trying to point, put my finger out. The mu <laughs> <laughs> can't do that here. The muscle on the inside of the leg is just lower, and then that other one's higher on the outside. Mm -hmm. uh, I, okay. I guess I could try to draw it, too. I'd, I've been leaving that to Dave, though. <laughs> Let me see. see yeah, I, I mean, share, I'm share my definitely screen. here to learn, so anything you guys... Yeah, let me try it. And I wanted to mention, Robert... Uh, yeah. Charlie Parks said, uh, hey, Robert, anyway, people who have already had their art reviewed can leave and maybe make some room for the rest of us. So I, I don't know if people are still in the lobby. Oh, are they? I don't think so. No, we've been we've been kicking them as they go. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're leaving. It's just people are joining almost. I mean, this thing is just flickering with people trying to get in. Uh, so let's see here. I'm trying to see how to share mine now. All right, share screen. And I pick a monitor. It's going to come up blue here, but I, I do that because I don't like staring at white every time. Um, just kind of messes with my eyes. But the leg itself, 
uh, let's see, it comes out like this. You know, you get that cylinder going, you start with that cylinder, uh, connection point to the pelvis, something like this. All right, and then what I'm saying is like, if you pay attention to the silhouette, the, the leg actually will get wider here. It thins down, it's up, you got a bump up here a little higher. Uh, the knee flattens out, kind of squares off. But what I was trying to point out is that you got the medialis right here. It kind of mm -hmm. flows up like this. The lateralis is on the other side here, but it, it bumps up higher. And then you got the rectus femoris. It was like this, something like this. And I tend to do so. And this is the, what is the sartorius, I think. So it just does something like that. But then if you look at the silhouette, you can generally pick apart. Um, I'm doing this really messy. Let's see, and then you got the actually got it bent in the back on itself. So, yeah, the, if, the, the perspective on this was killing me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're gonna have to have Dave draw this. <laughs> Dave, can you come help? <laughs> Fix my homework, Dave. <laughs> What's good to me? Yeah, let me softer. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, I would I would just really pay attention to the silhouette and then try to sculpt into it. And I don't know, was it this leg muscle down here, Dave? Would this come all the way down? You think, or you're gonna see the the bend of the you know where it meets the the lower leg? It wouldn't come all the way down. That's the Oh, I forgot already. Medius? Yeah, this is the medius right here, but it wouldn't come all the way down, would it? No, yeah, it doesn't come all the way down. It sits up higher. Yeah. And I yeah. know all all these right here, the quadriceps, they all point back to the aces, which is back here somewhere on the hip or the... Um, what's that called? The cradle, the sanctum, sancrum? Anyways, all, there's a all of those, yes. Yeah, there's an <laughs> asis up here, and you can point all the quadriceps right up there, and that helps you too. And then that sartorius yeah. is here, and then this meteor part of the leg here, and Dr. Gr I don't know, remember what those are called. Anyways, let me get that off there. <laughs> I like Back. that you did the it, it was like a when it came up to the hip there, with a little circle to you know, it's like a pinned like that construction. Yeah, I uh, I should have warmed up. You've been. Do I'm I'm gonna just let you do the drawing. No, that just, worked great. Let's just put Dave up there. Hey everybody, it's Dave. Do some do some more drawing, Dave. Dance it was monkey. Uh, it was. <laughs> what did you say, dance monkey? Yeah. Dance monkey, dance. <laughs> it was nice to you know get to sit back and watch you do that. Yeah, I sh I should do a little more, but I man, I, I think I'm uh. Struggling clicking all these buttons is what I'm doing. No, no, <laughs> too, too much pressure. All right, so what else you got, Anthony? Is that it? Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I've only been at this a couple months, so I'm kind of still fine tuning things, I guess. So um, you've only been at drawing comics a couple months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you trying to make us feel bad about ourselves, or what? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, like, apparently. I know I've, I've eaten into time here. It's... I've been at this for 30 years. <laughs> here was here was my first attempt. Uh, this was about three years ago to try and draw something in a comic style. And it, I don't know. It, it, I mean, it fell apart quickly. So. <laughs> There's some good things about it, though. I mean, while I, I would say the eyes are are not quite aligned and then the nose from that angle you wouldn't see the other side of the nose there sure uh, and it's it's a little small the forehead uh on the the side away from us is is kind of pulling up away yeah <laughs> uh, so i mean there are some issues but then you know the overall structure of the face actually looks really strong and it looks you know the whole thing it's it's volumetric like it, it not bad 
So yeah, it's it's Thank not you. perfect, or you know, I can see what you mean, and yeah, it's it's a million miles away from what you're doing now too. So yeah, yeah, I, this, I mean, this is labor of love, so I wanted to make sure I did it right. Um, yeah. So I put a lot of a lot of time and effort into it. So it really shows. Yeah, I Thank like you. it. It thing I like most about it is it it does jump off the page, and that's you know, it's a great foreshortened shot. That's what it should do. So thanks very much, Anthony. We appreciate you having you here. We're going to try to cycle over to somebody else. Yeah, thank uh, you so very keep, much, guys. Yeah, keep up the nice work, buddy. Thanks. Okay, and so we're we're going to the next person. Just remember, as soon as I uh, exit somebody out, that's your guys' chance to click that link. I keep sharing it. Uh, I know everybody's getting mad at me in the, the comments, like, I can't get in. I'm sorry. And I would add more than one person at a time, but this is probably more personal, right, Dave? It's a little bit more focused if we do it that way. So I know last time we we're adding more people and they get to show their stuff in the background, but then a little <clears throat> diluted or something, right? Yeah, I think really quickly, it, it it's nice to show your work, but I don't think it would actually be very useful or easy to watch, you know? Yeah. Okay. So we're doing it the right way? I think so anyway. I mean, okay. what it's worth. All right. So we got Marshall. Let's bring him in. I'm here. I'm her. Sorry. Is that him? I'm here. Yep. Okay. Marshall, good to have you. Um, so yeah, so we see your icon. Um, do you want to share a screen or what do you got? I got share screen. Okay. There it is. Let's bring it up. Add to stream. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's good on a lot of levels, isn't it? It's great. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I hate it when it says good. I'm like, I, I got, what am I going to say? Come How on. are you going to critique it? This is your job, Dave. Find something <laughs> wrong with this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you right now that I cannot. This is beyond my ability to find something wrong with it. I think it looks phenomenal. It's incredible. Like you, you're a professional. I'm assuming. No, I'm not. Why? Um, I've been trying to break in and show my stuff, but they shut the conventions down, so I can't like really peddle my stuff these days. Were you not this good last year? Um, I was actually. I showed my stuff to you in Baltimore one time. It was a, it was a ninja comic, but I've gotten a lot better with like shots and like up shots, down shots, and anatomy and stuff, storytelling. Yeah, trucks. You're drawing trucks exceedingly well. Yeah. Well, well, uh, <laughs> well yeah. I've got tons of pages, but this one had the interior, exterior, female, uh, male, and different stuff. So Would you a, mind just zooming in on some of that? Sure. Let me go to um. Let me get this one. Anything in particular you want to see? I, just whatever you want to show, really. I mean, there's zoom, no, uh, zoom in on the girl. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Choke and puke. Nice. <laughs> oh man, I like that upshot and that that guy's expression. That's awesome. Yeah. It yeah, just, it's, it's looking good. I it's mean, great. It's professional work. But it's also really appealing. Like I just, I love it. I just really like it. And yeah, I mean, look definitely. at that. Those figures, looking down at them, the angle is perfect. Everything, like you know, all the different proportions. Everybody's individual and characteristic, uh, easy to discern. Yeah, that's great stuff. And you're looking for work right now. I am looking for work. Actually, um, I'm going to finish this book. I'm halfway done. I did a space book. I have this finished at this quality level and i have a uh this one's halfway done so i'm gonna do these and submit them to image and then i'm going to um pitch those and then self-publish through kickstarter that's the next step hey that's a great way to go yeah you can do really well with it but you know i i really don't think for a second you would have any trouble getting work from a publisher if that's what you're looking for also i am i gotta hold on i gotta show somebody's comment real quick that was a good comment. Yeah. Get this yeah. man a job. <laughs> nice one. Nice one, Nick. Oh, that's really good. All right. I'm just showing comments now. Hold on. I accidentally clicking buttons. Big fat fingers over here. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's looking great, dude. But this will be my business card at conventions. If they start back up, if I go to the tables, I'll give them the comments and say, you know, I do a page a day. You know, I can ink and pencil a page a day and do my. Really? Work. Nice. So I can do this. So these pages were done a page a day. Yes, this the one on the the one in the bar was about a ten to twelve hour page, and then the yeah. other one 
it's about an eight hour. So I can I usually do a page in eight hours, but but it's like a normal work day. You get up and you start at nine. You're done. Oh yeah, I know what that's all about for yeah. sure. Yeah, and I mean that's about how long it takes me to work usually. Like a really quick page will be, you know, maybe even five hours or whatever. Wow. But that's a you know a big head or something. And then an average page is eight hours, and then a tougher page, yeah, it could be twelve hours. So this is about a ten to twelve hour page. On yeah, the interior and exterior and all that stuff. Fantastic, thanks, guys. I mean that's a big uh, confidence booster, and I'm gonna just keep pushing. And keep, keep yeah yeah keep sharing that work on different uh you know deviant art i know some people kind of frown upon that one but i'll get offers for jobs through that uh you know even your social medias you do all that right you're sharing all your content yeah oh yeah, yeah. i post this stuff on instagram and stuff like that yeah you yeah, just got to keep doing that i know it seems tough with the conventions being down for a bit they're starting to come back though right dave aren't there a few of them are starting to book again right they are yeah i've got one i think Next month, I'm doing one in Canada, though. I can't travel yet. So I think I've got a couple here coming up. Meredith would. My wife, Meredith, would know. I never know what's going on. But, right. yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think it's, you know. Cool. Really and great stuff. You got good, I think you really pushed me on lion weights last time I talked to you on that ninja book. And that's you like, oh, man, this is. This is all there. It's just line weights, line weights. So I've really been working on that. Like you see the guy, the upshot, like is really thick in the foreground. And that was last year. No, that was in Baltimore, like two years ago. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So I've improved. Well, yeah. Now, strictly speaking, I, I, you know what I mean. I, I see a, a lot of samples, so I don't remember, but I would absolutely 100% remember like this stuff here so you know it's like yeah you've gotten i've gotten better yeah certainly have yeah i'm and Mar really amazed and marshall do me a favor put your uh ig handle your instagram oh here you go. Go, ahead, go ahead and put that in the comments uh people are asking about it and so that's another you know these are great ways to network yeah you know sometimes it's just followers but then followers lead to maybe the right person seeing it so good luck it, on that it, Mars Henson on Insta and Twitter, and I post some stuff. I did like 30 days of heroes, like pin up stuff, and then I do pages, and I'm gonna blast all that out when this one's done. I'll promote the cover and all that stuff because I have yep. the done too. If you guys want to see that one, I don't want to take up too much time. Oh, uh, yeah, real quick. All right, yeah. hold on, two seconds. I got where is it? And it's the font. I'm still working on the font. Yeah, that's sharp. Love that distorted uh, perspective. Yeah, I've always wanted to do that. And, you know, I, I think uh, maybe on the computer, you there are filters, like you can do that. I, I, I have some tricks. I have some tricks, David. I'll tell you in secret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all trickery. But you have the you have the foundation and then you know how to do it. And you can kind of do a fish eye. Yeah, yeah, that'd be really cool to try. That's a great looking cover. Just draw your buildings the way you draw your buildings and do a fisheye perspective. And it's, a, it's just like one click of a button. Oh, hmm. done. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I could do that. You could do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks great, too. Yeah, Look at it. It works. Yeah, it's fantastic. Well, keep it up, Marshall. I have no doubt that you'll be uh, doing some pro, pro work now or pretty soon. You're already doing pro work now, but you'll be getting some. Uh, Paid work if you keep pursuing paid it. Pro work. That's what I want. Yeah. There you go. Paid pro work. Thanks yeah, for coming in, bud. All right, guys. Thank you so much. It really yeah, take it, care. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you, Marshall. I think it's it's a matter of um it's just time. Like, you know, they say it's the right place at the right time and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Sure, that's true, but you have to have that kind of work first. And you know, he does. And so, you know, yeah. it's gonna be sooner rather than later. Yeah. No, that's some good looking stuff. You're right. All right, so let's see. We got Aman. How's it going, Aman? Dave, how you guys? How you guys doing today? Hi, Aman. Good. good to see you. It's good. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a real while. Two, two, weeks, two weeks, three. I'm sorry. When when did we do the last one? Was it three weeks or it's not a month? No. Was it? I remember July. Um, yeah, I, I think that, was, correct, was it a month ago? Yeah, what? I think a little more than a month even. Oh, okay. Sorry. I I'm an artist, so I keep no track of time. Uh, okay. Um, Maybe that's just me. <laughs> so what I'm about to show you, uh, 
what I'm about to show you is, uh, I mean, it's not like um, what everybody else has been presenting, like action poses and whatnot. I do apologize if it's not action poses, but um, I'm doing a little bit of noses here and there, like practicing learning how to draw noses and whatnot from uh, from like different angles and whatnot. And of course, I have the uh, reference. Uh, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you. And I know you said you can only have one, so I want to try to pick them up next year. And this is some mouse that I've been doing. Rob, I've been doing your Skillshare class on mouse. Oh, thank you. Yep, thank you. Um, now, obviously, like, uh, yeah, I know it's going to be, it's going to be, a, as that, uh, you know, as that saying goes, like, uh, Rome wasn't built in an entire day. You know, no, yeah. neither will anyone's career. But yeah, but um, I guess uh, what I'm trying to say is I'm still nervous about that. But, like, you know, the rate that I'm going right now, I feel pretty confident. Not, confident but i feel like in a way i'm improving and i've only been drawing since the beginning of the year of this year so um in a way it feels daunting but like i feel like i feel like i'm slowly improving so that's what i kind of wanted to reach out to you guys but and that's like what i wanted to present to you guys as well um i know everybody else has been kind of like showing more anatomy stuff but um i'm not really there yet that's fine. But, I mean, whatever you feel comfortable with doing, it's the main thing is that you just progressively do it day in and day out and uh, try not to attach any stress and anxiety to it. Let it be fun and, and follow what you're passionate and what you're interested in and let that guide you. But yeah, don't, don't stress about it, you know? Yeah. And uh, facial features are, are anatomy, just like the rest of it. And they're, I personally think that heads, like faces and heads are as important as the rest of the body put together, minus hands, basically right. heads and hands, you know, and then bodies. I, that's kind of how I break it up. Heads, hands, rest of the body. Um, yeah. Yeah. Jim. And and actually, I know. Uh, can I just show you at least one more piece? Oh yeah. No, they're, they're quick. Yeah. So, sure. Yeah. Um, so actually this is a, um, here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you the, I'm looking at it this way. All right, here we go. So this is a body that I did for one of my drawing class. It's, um, I do apologize about that uh, smudge there. Um, right from yeah, the opposing but, page. Yeah. yeah. Sorry? From the, from, the, from the opposite page. Yeah. I, I apologize about that. Um, but yeah, that was a that was something that I did from one of my art classes. Mm -hmm. It's a great um, looking gesture. Thank you. The gesture looks great. Now, definitely you need to study the anatomy, but that's all right, though, because... It's not going to be a overnight thing. It's no, no, no. Like, you learn, you know, like if you work on arms and, and get all that anatomy in, you can't do that in a day either. You know, that's going to take no. some time. So let yeah. it take the time it takes. It's all right. But the actual, you know, that gesture looked really nice. And I really liked how you, with the legs, you had one simple flowing line all the way down that leg and then a bit more of a shaped leg on the outside. More muscle -toned, um, more muscle -toned approach to it, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it just, it had like an animation kind of a feel where they'll do like a you know, uh, a hard kind of cut line on one side and then curved on the other side, and it gives it a lot more kind of life okay. if everything's just bubbly. All right. Definitely. Um, yeah. And a couple of questions. Um, and obviously, it's related to my drawing. But, like, uh, Dave, I noticed you have a Skillshare class, uh, which is on learning how to draw faces. Do you plan on, like, having any other, like, Skillshare classes anytime soon on, like, either anatomy or, like, perspective on it or anything like that? Yes, absolutely. I um, tentatively working on one right now. I'm finishing my deadlines. Well, I say finishing deadlines. They, they just keep coming back. The problem is you finish one and then the next one starts, you know, so I'm, I'm yeah. working on that. I have been fighting with a website, got that. And uh, yeah, a few things, but definitely priority number one for me, you, you know, is, is to get another class up and that'll be, I, I think, uh, just about a month. Okay. Yeah, the reason I ask, because um, Rob, like, you know, I appreciate you letting me, you know, I appreciate your videos and, you know, helping me trying to learn how to, like, you know, draw noses and whatnot, kind of like the simple stuff. But, like, right. if I'm going to be a comic book artist, even for, or, like, even for fun, I feel like, you know, you got to be, you got to learn how to, like, uh, you got you got to, like, pull inspiration from not just one. So, like, not from just you, for example, don't take that into offense, but, like, Hmm. Um, David Finch or like Mike Hawthorne, and Todd McFarlane. Oh yeah, no, you need lots of influences. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah. It's like some some person you're gonna look at their work and they are gonna you're gonna immediately understand 
something about it, like a pose or the way they do an arm or leg or face expression, whatever. Uh, and, and you might, you know, learn from that artist for a while and then you might see another artist and then all of a sudden it helps you with some other area of work. You just have to be open-minded and explore. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and, and sometimes I found that I would try to learn from certain artists and I just couldn't really translate what they were doing. And I had to accept that. Um, right. Dave, I remember you talking about that with, a, I think it was Mark and you were saying that you wanted to draw like him, but you couldn't, you had to ultimately find your own style. Um, and sometimes Mark, that Mark who, I'm sorry, Sylvester, he was my first boss and my teacher really in a lot of ways. And I have a lot of influence from him, but th there was a lot that I just couldn't pull off. And right. there were a few things like really fundamental things that he was trying to show us. I couldn't get, and I ended up having to go my own way a lot. Okay. So, yeah. Gotcha. You know. Okay. And then uh, another question. Um, do you, like, like you guys have, uh, you, I'm, I'm sure you guys have videos on like uh, gesture drawing and whatnot. And like, obviously gesture drawing is better with like, if you want to do like an action pose or something like that, or uh, any type of pose. I'm just curious, like, how would I have to practice like gesture overall? Because that's something that's like intimidating me. Um, how would I, I guess, like, how would I have to do that? Okay, I'm going to show you my start to finish gesture method. Here we go. Mm. Hold on. Well, uh, in a second, here we go. Uh, All right, let me let me give him the screen. Rob, while you're doing that, um, I was yeah, what's asking, up, what? uh, question. Um, like, I remember asking you one time if you could do like a, a YouTube tutorial on like learning how to draw swords. Um. I don't know if you remember that, but do you plan on doing anything like that soon, or like drawing? Yeah, yeah, I could work. I could work through some weapons and things like that. I'll try to get on that real soon. All like, right, uh, armor let's, as uh, well. Yep, let's give Dave the the screen so he can explain what he's doing here. All right, so this is the gestural um, process. What I'm doing right now is I'm mm -hmm. drawing my simplified figure, and yes. this is taking a figure and drawing it. And I'm actually, I could draw like a, a ball for the elbow. I don't ever. But, and then just a, a simple shape for the hand, the head, again, it's just very simple. You want to keep these as, I keep saying simple, but you want to keep them simple. And uh, so the pelvis is going to be just about like this. Got a tube for the leg. This is actually, you know, a good way to think of it is the, um, you know, that wooden mannequin, Robert? Yeah, it's unfamiliar with yeah. that. Yeah. There's a name for that, isn't there? There is. And we'll just say mannequin. Mannequin, yeah. So it's it's kind of that in a lot of ways. And so, you know, here's my other arm. And I'm actually a little long with his arm. Let's fix that. You know, and this is why I love these kinds of sketches, because I can totally blow it. And it's so easy for me to just fix it and go, hey, there. Look at that. That was way too long. I made the other one long try to compensate. OK, so that's what that's what I do now. Getting a good sense of this and being able to turn it in space, like I could draw him from behind. I'll just do this uh, quicker. But, you know, here's the same thing from behind. I had to walk away for a minute. Did I miss anything? No, no. I made the arm too long. He missed that. I got the little man I can do. I got my version of it. Let me see here. I'm, uh, I'm a little. Hey, everybody. Oh. Stiff. Let me fix that ah. arm. He's got a little, what's that called? <laughs> uh, when they can move, opposable. Hey, I need to get one of those. That actually, it's, it's not really that good, but you yeah. know, it's better than nothing. But it does twist at the the body, which is kind of cool. You get him to like kind of dance and do some moves there. But but yeah, it's it still takes some imagination because they're just so darn stiff, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, so it's it's there. It get, it helps you a little bit, but you still have to bridge the gap. Back to Dave. Okay, and so anyway, I, I've got two really basic figures kind of drawn. Now, what I do is I'll just go through a comic that I like, whatever it is, find something. This is actually, I was showing this book earlier this week on the live stream. This is... Um, uh, Glenn Fabry, who I think is incredible. So yeah, here's a great figure. And uh, it's nice because he actually drew this. He's got the sketch sitting there too. So I'm just going to, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm realizing it's hard to 
I'm zoomed too far in. Can't see what I'm doing here. Okay. Yeah, that's a cool sketch. Yeah. So I'm just going to use that same, these same shapes. And I'm going to draw it. Here's my chest shape. And you can get more gestural and quick with this as you go. But to start, you really want to just try and use those shapes. And, and the whole point is to be able to move them in space and keep them consistent, you know? Would stick figure be like, uh, like um, this is going to sound like a really silly question, but like somebody who draws like stick figures, obviously I have a long way to go. So I'm curious, um, if I were to start off with a stick figure pose, would uh would that would that be appropriate and then like kind yeah of like absolutely that? yeah actually how to draw comics in marvel way he he uses that method and i think that might be more how john basama works this is more how i work uh i just felt more comfortable this way but um, you're ultimately going to have to do this one way or another because you need to take your stick figure. you need to right. take your stick figure and then fill it out but if that's a more comfortable way for you to start a figure then definitely you know, I, I'd say that's a great way. Yeah, to like I said, gestural drawing just really intimidates me a lot. Yeah, and this is all there is to it, though. And you're copying somebody else's stuff, and you're doing it on a page you're never going to show anybody. And you know, I mean, eventually, just, if I'm, um, yeah, um, but this stuff here is just practice. So yeah. you want to think of this as this is just practice. So okay. you know, you can actually even see. Look at this. Here's his pelvis shape in here. He's actually kind of. You can see his simplified shapes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, his pelvis shape for sure. And now he's not shaping exactly the way that I do. He's got his own method, but you'll find uh, as you draw, you know, you'll you'll get your own shorthand okay. and shapes that, yeah. that work for you. And it doesn't really matter what they are right. as long as it works. But yeah, that's gesture drawing. And what I would say is, and this is how I started. I've taught artists that have, you know, worked in the business. And I keep saying that, like, you know, try to de defend that this works, but it works. And anyway, yeah, you want to draw these and then just move them in space and keep drawing them until you can just draw very, very comfortably and draw your own, you know, and okay. anyway. Yeah. And also I would say, uh, and now when I draw, I'm much quicker and more sloppy with it. Like I'll slap it an arm like this. And, you know, I, I don't, I don't uh, draw them the same way that I did when I first started. So it's more of a, like a scribble sketch, I guess, but it's still using the same shapes. I just scribble more. Anyway, um, uh, I still do this. I, I do this when I draw my actual figures, and I do this to warm up. I do it all yeah. the time, and it, I think it makes a big difference. And it makes a difference between being a stiff artist and being a more, you know, natural flowing artist. Yeah, I like I like that last one. I mean, I like them all, but I really like the motion and the posing of that last action shot. Yeah, they're all amazing, Dave. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's going to take a while for me to get up to the level like with that type of gestural drawing also there was a somebody who wrote a comment um dave i'm curious are you using a, a special type of pencil i'm using a uh um this is a impossible to tell because yeah that's it's I'm just trying, a, i'm trying to be like dave this is the pencil huh? i don't i don't have any tape though no it, yeah. yeah i just put tape on there because it 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 hurts my hand less, but it, yeah, it's the same pencil Robert has. What it is is a uh, Stadler Mars. Is that right? Yeah, Stadler. but Dave, Dave's being modest. He puts the tape on there because if not, his powerful hands will break it. Like a that's right. Yeah, tooth, like a toothpick. Like a Hulk. Yeah, he just right. kind of Hulk like, out like like a Superman for example. Yeah, it's it's for the benefit of the pencil. Right? Yeah. So this is called a, a lead holder. Uh, and the lead that goes into it, it's you can see it's a little, it's thicker than what you'd get from a regular mechanical pencil, which I like because yeah. I always press too hard. Okay. You just press the end, you stick it in there. And then to sharpen, you have to use a lead pointer that looks like this. Stick it in the top and you have to you spin it. Wow. And you end up with lead in here that if you put in your bag, you put this in your bag, by the time you get home from the airport, Everything that is in that bag will be covered in lead that will never ever come out. Of <laughs> oh wow, that's that's not uh, not good at all. Yeah. yeah, don't make that mistake. I'll keep that in mind then, Dave. Thank there you. There you go. Yeah. All right, Amon, we're gonna head over to the next yeah, one. Yeah, Hopefully, definitely. that's been helpful for you. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, uh, I guess the next time I go on your Skillshare class, I could definitely look at Dave's and see like if he's got like other videos coming up as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it's been a while since. 
really lasted this. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, just want to say thank you uh, for the for the support and for the advice that you guys given me. I feel like I have you know since last time I've been kind of improving in a way. Good. So, um, and all that anxiety has been like anxiety and negativity has kind of been like you know getting off my shoulders. Glad to hear that. It's a uh, it's still a process. That's something uh, that I, that's something I understand now. It's a process. So is storytelling and whatnot and all that. But um, I appreciate the support and the advice that you guys give me. So thank you very much, Dave. Yeah, well, yeah that's cool. great. Thank right. you, Aman. And yeah, art is a source of stress and a, a reliever of stress all in one. It's you a know? process. Yes, <laughs> yeah. definitely. Like Thomas Edison, it took him 10,000 times to create the light bulb. So that's the same thing with art. So yeah, uh, thank right. you. Guys. I appreciate that. I won't, yeah. I won't go too long. All right. Thank good you. luck, man. Take care. Bye. Okay. So next we have Juan. Your mic's off. There it is. Right. Yep. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry for the yeah. awkward setup. It's a little low, but and my doesn't work. But uh, I changed the settings so you can see my screen. Yeah. Let's see it. Oh, there we go. Can you see it now? Yep. Yeah, let me maximize the window here. I also have the physical uh, pages in case you want to see those. Wow. Yeah, it's really nice looking. Looks Thank great. Thank you. And, and it's kind of like a. Yeah, I like the yeah, I like the use of uh, light and shadow. Yep. Yeah, I I actually wanted to ask you guys about that I because it. it's like a daytime scene. So I wanted to know how you would do the shadows in this kind of light setting with uh, soft lights. You know, how would you do the the soft shadows in this type of scene? Well, I don't really do soft shadows, but what I would do for a, a daytime scene, I would always have the light coming. Yeah, uh, if if it's coming from the side, it's going to be coming still from a a very high angle. Um, <laughs> yes. And the next uh, page is it's kind of like a splash splash page. I'm I'm sorry, her. <laughs> I'm life is intervening. Mm -hmm. Okay, Robert, I'm going to let you take over for just a second here, and I'll yeah, be right back. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, so I really like that one. I, I really like the uh, the pose of Spidey. Um, I like the depth of the scene. Um, I can't really quite see. Is that Hobgoblin or uh, Green Goblin? It's the Green Goblin, but with a very simple kind of design. Green Goblin. Yeah, but I, I like the you. way you layered the smoke. That looks. What's that? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, see, I like the way you took the arm back like that. It's a dynamic pose. A lot of people, probably right there, would have went for more more of a boring, uh, standardized pose. Um, and I, I really like the uh, force. If you can stop moving, it's a little clear up there but i really like the foreshortening of spidey i like that you have that shoulder rotated in front of his face yeah you're doing a lot of things right on that shot probably the only thing if i had to critique anything would be a, you could really get more out of that building i don't mind that it's simplistic because it really lets the characters kind of thrive you know but you know with a few more like rendering lines and basically uh you, you the building looks good structurally I would just add a few more little details that could be really blended into what's there and you can make it look more, just more interesting. You could even light the bottom of the building with some light shading, but you don't want to bring it up too high because then it'll start conflicting with Spidey. I, overall, I think it looks really good. Yeah, yeah thank I love you. that Spider-Man. Uh, to, to keep it simple, but uh, backgrounds is something that uh, I'm just learning, you know, and I still have a lot yeah. of problems. Backgrounds. Uh, yeah, they can be they can be tough. 
in the first page, I, I didn't know what to do with the first panel in the original version I had. Yeah, Dave's got a, a real good YouTube video on perspective drawing and drawing out the grids first. And it's funny because I jumped into digital softwares because they made all the grids for you. And now I've actually been drawing the grids on paper. And it's amazing how it kind of really simplifies. It makes it seem a lot easier where perspective can seem daunting, especially when you're, you're looking at the vanishing point and you're trying to pick and choose the lines for the shape you want to create. Putting that grid down first will give you something to hinge upon for your characters, your your, de your details to your buildings. So yeah, check, make sure you check out that video if you haven't seen it already. Yeah, I, I, I thank you, Robert. And yeah, no problem. I, I um, I keep wanting to do a, a video or something on drawing figures in an environment because I get questions about that. But really, it's mm -hmm. the same as drawing anything, any kind of a building or whatever. And yeah, with a grid, it's you can. It, it's so easy to visualize them in there. I I got it actually from. That's terrible. I don't remember the name anymore, but it was from Hero Magazine, I think, years ago in like 1991 or something. Right. And uh, it, the guy that did it, he did that kind of a grid and then drew everything on top of it. And I thought, wow, like it, it was like a light bulb thing for me rather than, you know, I need a, a building. So I'm going to find my perspective point and draw this line and then find my perspective point. I, yeah, it, it almost seems like a lot more work to think of it that way, where if you put the grid down first, I mean, your characters always seem to come out better. They actually, you know, it, it all connects together. It makes more sense where when you just draw that floating character, you got to have a really good imagination to ne then go back and draw a building that matches it sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think that can be a good help. I, mean, yeah, I, I actually wanted to ask you guys about that because I saw David's video on drawing an environment and then putting the characters on the environment. But I wanted to ask you guys if you uh, you have any sort of tricks to draw first the figure and then figure out what kind of background would fit the figure. Um, okay, well, what I would do if now, uh, that type of shot of Spider-Man and, and by the way, I love that Spider-Man. I think it's, it's great. I love his leg. Really good. So much power coming out to the edge of his foot there. Um, great posing. But you could draw a building from any angle and fit that because he's floating in space, so it's fine. Right. But if you want to draw characters that look like they're actually standing on the ground and you know are are fitting, then uh, the way that I would do it is I could either just draw my grid first. So basically, what I do. It, I, Generally speaking, I kind of sketch in my head, to be totally honest. Like, I've been doing this for a long time. So you get to a point where I, I kind of know what I want to draw on a panel. And I, I see it in my head, and then I just start sketching based on that. But uh, if I don't want to draw perspective, like, let's say I'm drawing some characters in a cave, and I still need the cave to be in perspective, but there's no linear perspective to it. What I'll do is I'll just sketch my perspective. Uh, and I don't even bother finding perspective points Really, which, you know, you might want to do that. As starting out, I think finding perspective points is probably always a good way to go. But yeah, I just draw sketch lines in and estimate my perspective. And then I draw the figures based on that. So I'm still kind of using a bit of a grid. Uh, I really try not to just start drawing floating characters and making it work. It, you always end up with, or at least I certainly end up with problems. I, I'm sure there are artists that can see that in their head so well that they never have trouble with that either. I think it, it, it depends on what your experience level is. And then, you know, your innate talent level. And, and for me, like I, I've definitely got some parts missing in that, you know, section of my brain. So I have to compensate. Yeah. yeah. I to try to uh, the, pers the perspective lines first from now and then. Can, can I show you one pinup that I did? So you can see, yeah. like a pinup work. Sure. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's, it's a little dark. Yeah. Oh, nice. 
Oh, yeah, Judge Dredd. Yes, Judge Dredd. I don't know if you saw it on the Discord, David. I'm very active on the Discord. I posted a long time ago. I missed it. I'm sorry. How could you, Dave? I know. I, I yeah. I I really I try and get there, but you know it's I, the way I right now I'm I'm really breaking my day down in a. I've got so little time that you know I, I'm I'm saying to myself, okay, you know, I, I wake up in the morning and then from this time to this time it's emails and then from this time to this time it's you know whatever layouts are due and yeah, it, so I'm finding it hard to get everywhere. Yeah, no, I I can agree. I don't know how you do it, man. Uh, but, thank you very much, guys. I think that's my time, and well, thank you for doing this. It's a great opportunity for us. Oh, well, a pleasure and really excellent work. I think it's it's really strong stuff. Yep, keep it up, Juan. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, thank you, guys. All right, bye. Okay, so now, so that's those two. Let me get that out of there. Trying to make room in this uh, studio for everybody. I don't think that's what it's called. Um, and then, so next we have Dominic Gomez. Bring him in. How you doing, Dominic? Thanks for being patient. Hi. Uh, it's no problem. <laughs> Hi, Dominic. Uh, it's so nice to meet you guys. But um, here, let me share my screen. Uh, oh, is it popping up in the window over here? Let's see. Oh, wait, I think there, I got it. There it is. Yep, I think you did okay. too. Right there. So basically, Bam. I did uh, three pages of that like beat em up scene in the Batman trailer <laughs> where he like beats up those thugs. So, um, Oh yeah. Yeah. That new trailer is looking sweet or looks sweet. I think. Yeah. I really like it. So, uh, this is the first one and then this is the second one. And then this is the last one. So I was just wondering what um just what you guys thought. <laughs> I'm only 15, so like I just I just oh. I think I need more to learn. Yeah, like, okay, I, I well, think I need to learn something more. <laughs> you're 15, yeah. You got you're gonna learn some more for sure. But yeah. oh, you're off to a great start at that age. I can tell you that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It, oh. the, like all in all, your composition is phenomenal. Your sense of lighting is great, you know, and it's not overdone. It's it just it really works. You have a really gestural kind of style that doesn't it's gestural, but it, it doesn't lean toward getting unreadable or, you know, it, it's really easy for styles like that to start uh, just getting a little soupy and it doesn't at all. I think it it looks it looks like mature work. I will say there are certainly places. I mean, it's almost a little nitpicky, but the the slash where batman the last panel there those speed lines are a little all over the place like i i don't like how they're reading because they're they're not really going in the same direction and i see you kind of broken them up with rain which helps but they're they're very thick you did yeah. this on the computer i would really use a curve to make those work um yeah i, I think batman's face there looks phenomenal his head looks really good the angle is good uh, the hand, that hand, some of the lighting is, it's not perfect, but still it's, you know, it's, it's a good hand. I think you could be better with hands. You know what? I, I want to be clear too, that criticizing that hand, I, it's, I, as a professional, I would say you could do better, you know, but that's, Really, it's it's already a very, very good hand. I think it could be a little better. I just, you know, what am I trying to say here? What I'm trying to say is that... Uh, Spit it out, Dave. It's easier to be a little harsh with your work because it's very strong. So, you know, I think that hand is perfectly fine. He needs it. We got we to gotta toughen him up for the real world. He's 15. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Like I'd uh, like to when, see a little more power in the hand, like splay the fingers and maybe like, you know, if you, when you really wrench your fingers, they actually bend back a little bit and just get something that's really like, and that's what I mean. The hand's fine, but it could just be, it could be better. And you know, what I really like is uh, you want to imagine that when your arm's coming out, all of your power is going to your middle finger. So you're like shooting it out and projecting, you know, <clears throat> so that's what I mean. I, I think the first panel, like that composition looks great. I do think the buildings and, and the, okay, well, the background looks good at compositionally, but in terms of finish and what you have there, it, it definitely needs to be a lot better. Like there's really yeah. nothing there actually. And it needs to be a lot more realized. Even if you're going for something that's a bit more of a, you know, um, like, like Jock, who's an artist I'm a huge fan of, it's more of a sketchy kind of a style. You still can't get away with that. And then yeah. on the yeah, for me it's the speed lines. The speed lines are just distracting when the rest yeah. of it kind of looks so good. So yeah. yeah, I would really thin those down and and make you know think more of like, you know, think about the bold lines are helping you to convey heavy shapes, heavy solid objects. So speed lines you could probably get away with some very thin, uh, faint lines, and like Dave said, have them grouped together in a, a French curve kind of style, a curved way. Uh, versus them being sporadically against one, you know, going against the grain a bit. And also okay. don't have them going past Batman's hand. Right. Yeah. Because they, the speed lines represent like your, you know, when you move something really quickly, your eye can't track it that fast. So you get a, a blur. And so they're they're just visually on the page representing a blur. So you don't want them to go past the hand. Yeah, it makes okay. sense. Yeah. Uh, I was like kind of like... Um... I, I put like two or three speed lines, I think, on, on this one. Or not two or three, but a couple. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure if like I should do that for like um, pages like this one. Well, I'm going to say I, the way that you did the, the speed lines on the other page there that you were just showing a second ago, I, though they don't read light speed lines at all because okay. they're not they're not going from something to something like i i can't tell if it's his arm like speed, you can't the first panel those speed lines i i still think that they're very thick those white ones i it's too yeah. much and they're not they could be better but they're i can see that they're coming from his hand which is punching forward you know but that other the third panel they aren't really coming from anywhere um i i think you know, here, let me show you. I do this every time I know, mm. but all right, hold on. Um, how do I see both? Okay, I think it's on my end. Hold on. Okay. So here's your Batman, and uh, he's swinging his arm out this way. There's his hand, you know, this is the worst Batman ever. <laughs> and you know his other arms like this no Ben Affleck was the worst Batman ever <laughs> I, I'm totally kidding kidding you guys don't get all mad at me <laughs> I love I love and, them all they're all great Batmans and the guys you know getting knocked back here's his head getting knocked back I'm I I don't need to see it because it's just like generally it doesn't matter uh this is, is I should really define this more. It's so impossible to see what I just drew there. That's the side of his. Anyway, whatever. Imagine that that's a guy getting knocked back. There's his hand. And so Batman's arm is coming from here around connecting with his head and then going to here. And so any speed line that you drew would need to be doing that kind of a thing. And then you could even do like a smack and his head's flying back from it, you know? But that's how you would have to draw speed lines. They have to actually, you know, be the arm's path of travel. Okay. And then stop at the arm and not extend out past it like this either because the arm isn't there. So that's what I mean. Okay, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you for showing me. Oh, you're welcome. Um, this is the last one. 
I went like uh, I tried to increase the amount of rain with each page. So this page kind of he doesn't really have a lot of rain on him until here, and um, and then this page is it's like pouring ish. <laughs> so I don't know. I was wondering if any critiques. Um, I I think his uh his face, it, the the bigger face, his, the chin's fine. That like the face, but then his cheek really cuts up very high, and he's missing kind of the side of his his jaw. I don't know if it's shadowed, but it wouldn't be shadowed based on that lighting. So it looks like it's kind of cut there, and then it actually it kind of comes out a little bit too much oh. here. I think the cowl comes up, but I love the way that you did the rain on it. Um, it's a little messy. Yeah. To my taste, truthfully, the, some of that rain, but it, it's very, it's good. I, I would use a ruler for that rain. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a, you know, you, cause you're doing it on the computer. If you could use a ruler and oh, then yeah. Clip get like a, got plenty of rulers. Right, yeah. like a ruler, but still get like a, a line with varying thickness, so it's not dead. You know. Yeah, you can uh, do that with the rulers because you can add the ruler and then use the pressure with your pen as you go down. Uh, and then if you're strategic about it, you can use some layers, copy and move and paste them, and then erase some so they don't look like copied versions. You kind of did that where you're you're showing some highlights to the rain a little bit. But yeah, there's ways to do it in Clip Studio. Yeah, and that's what he's got here. Okay. Yeah, and they're just too thick for rain. You want those really faint. You know, you want to you want to really utilize. I know you're trying to add lots of texture in here. In some areas, you're doing it really well. I love the half mm -hmm. tones in the top three uh, that you're doing. Uh, you know, because we're seeing it from a distance and it pulls together pretty nice. But yeah, just really think about exploring that different line weight. Um, looking at the cross hatching on the chest, it's not bad. But yeah, you can really take advantage of those different thicknesses of lines and and really, you know, push some more depth. Mm -hmm. But I mean, look, all in all, there are things that we can criticize that are, you know, like the rain looks messy to me. It, it and I, I think I'm a fan of messy art. It's not that it's not against that, but it looks a little sketchy. I would use a ruler for that. And then, you know, there are a few places where some of the whiteout for the rain, I think just it could be a little bit cleaner and, you know, look a little bit more like rain in some places. A few things like that. I, I think that that close up of the face, you see just the eye. Um, I, I would say with the lighting that you have, I wouldn't have defined that side of the nose as darkly as you did. Like you've got a very defined line there, but that's really with that lighting, the light, is really hitting that ridge. So having that line there, it makes it look like a drawing as opposed to, you know, being um, like an illusion of light. So I'm, I'm never a fan of a line along the side of the nose on the side of the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost a contradictory kind of thing. But Dominic, for your age, man, awesome yeah. work, dude. Right, yeah, come like, on. Hey, you're hey, hey. you're a kid. I mean, not, a, not thank a you. Being, <laughs> yeah, you're doing awesome. So just keep yeah, it up. Yep. We're both critiquing like a, you know. Like a, uh, somebody that's been at it for a long time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the main thing, you know, I got to ask you one question. Are you going to stick with it? Oh, yeah, for sure. Are you really passionate? You're going to stick with it? Then, dude, I, you can't wait to see what you're doing in 10 years. You know what I mean? So just, yeah, yeah. really stay, uh, stay doing what you're doing. And, yeah, I can't wait to see it. Okay, thank you. This was uh, awesome. <laughs> cool, man. Thanks. Yeah, really incredible work. Okay, and next we have Jeremy. Ah, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear us, Jeremy? Jeremy? We're talking not getting audio from you, no. Talking to you, Jeremy. And it's not saying you that the mic. Three seconds to get it right. Two. One. No, no, no. Ah, no, I'm kidding. Hurry up, though. Try to figure it out. <laughs> what are you, Googling it? What are you doing? No, don't Google it, Jeremy. Or no, if you have to, Google it. That's fine. What's up with the dramatic upshot? He's trying to show us, like, this is the hardest angle to draw in comics. This is what you need to work on. 
the hardest for me anyways. No? Yeah. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Okay. So my uh my mic was my mic was just the setting was wrong. You were so close to getting booted, dude. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We, we were gonna gonna all time. You? I'll, I'll scoot it back. Oh goodness. All right. All right. So what do we got? Well, hello. So I'll share my screen. Uh boom. Here we are. So right. I just have this. So here's my first piece. Um I so I tend to lean more towards an anime style personally. Cool. So yeah, so this is why I have this is Killer Queen from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And what I went for this is um so for framing, I liked I like framing stuff with uh like the moon that always makes it look cool in my opinion and i've also recently discovered that i really really like shading with lines as opposed to anything else just varying the weight the line weight and stuff like that i like how that comes out more than like half tones or just regular like variations of uh black and white so yeah here it is yeah, it's great. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely all about uh, shading with cross hatching, you know. And sometimes I can get a little carried away. I think you have a pretty good control over your your line weights. The the, um, the line can get a little sketchy here and there. It looks like you used a my kind of, my hand is very shaky. Yes. Yeah, mine too. It, it's I think you get better with it, you know, as you go. Yeah, hopefully, it gets easier. But yeah, it's been a problem for me forever. Uh, and well, I, I didn't ink actually for ages because I, with a pencil, it wasn't affecting me as much. But yeah, I, I think the number one way I know to get over that and to get a cleaner line easier is to just, uh, when I ink, I want to bring my hand up here. Like my natural hand motion is kind of out this way. I can also come in this way, but I'm not anywhere near as clean. I'm like a third as clean. Or I can actually, I can shoot out this way. And I'm not terrible, but the best way for me is this way. And so I actually angle my page so I can always be working on the... Okay. And then I can kind of throw my... Like smaller lines, you throw a little more from your wrist. Longer lines, you throw from your arm. But you really want to just practice, you know, starting at one point on the page and, and drawing a point on the other side and just draw a quick, smooth motion from one point to the other, stopping at that other point. And practice that until you can do it. I still can't do it, to be totally honest with you. But you know, you get better doing that, and yeah. it makes if you if you feel like you're a little sketchy, it would really help with that. It's, that's actually uh, how inkers learn. Is you know, well, uh, when I was at Top Cow, it's like my favorite saying. But it, all the new <laughs> inkers that came in, they uh, they all had to do those kinds of inking exercises. Just you know, they draw like an oval and then have to start really thick and thin the lines out and make it clean. You know, those kinds of exercises. So I'd recommend trying it. All right, I will have to give that a try. Oh, by the way, I draw on Procreate. Oh, what the heck, Procreate on the iPad. Nice. So, and I uh, downloaded some pens. So yeah, that's nice. I will say, so this is something I noticed after doing this, but um, the, let's see, the left side, left side, it, the left side of uh, bottom cheek is a lot thicker than the other side. And I think I actually meant to make both sides uh, more like the right side, the skinnier, to have that point of your chin. Cause you know, like triangles, triangles communicate more of an evil, like an evil, uh, yeah, for shape language. Tone. Yeah, so, so yeah, that's why the right side looks a little bit better, in my opinion, compared to the left side. Although I will say some of the shading on the left uh, left side, I do like a little bit more. But yeah, but yeah, uh, that's just like, this is something very recent, but I discovered like, I like to draw the outline of the shadow and then I'll, I'll just like sketch it in and I like how that looks. So that's what I went for in this composition. So yeah. yeah it's usually a good approach, right, Dave? That's one that I think I've heard you say. You, you you think it's better to draw the shape of the shadow first, right? Yeah, that's that's something I learned really early on is you yeah, you draw your overall shadow shape and then you shade it in. Otherwise you end up with uh really formless kind of sketchy shadows, or it's easier to end up with that yeah. problem. Mm -hmm. 
which I had. Uh, and, you know, that was one of the first things that got told to me is that's how you fix that. So. There you go. All right. So yeah. that's the first one. Here is my okay. second one. This is King K. Rule from Donkey Kong, but I made him. So I was going for a combination of Killer Croc and King K. Rule. And this is what came out. Very this cool. is a little bit of an old piece. Very cool looking. I love the pose too. Uh yeah. I uh I went for more like a like a yeah, it's me kind of pose. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. I I would say um so I, I learned because I, I did a little bit of computer coloring. Um I did a couple of covers. I'd like to do more. And I learned that when you're coloring your own work, you really want to keep in your color palette, keep everything above, like, I guess, 50%, you know, from a, a scale of black and white and, you know, uh, whatever, zero to 50 would be the darker. And then, anyway, you want to keep it within the top 50% of your your um, value range, all of your colors, because otherwise it starts to really conflict with the, the line art and it can start to get a little bit murky looking. And he is a little dark, and I think that would help is just making sure to not color it as if you're painting. Okay. And we'll have to keep that in mind. All right. Um, so, yeah, I will say I'm not sure about the leg. I'm, like, looking at it again, those muscles definitely aren't cor I guess it's, like, it's vaguely correct, but, like, this thing right here i don't know what that is all right yeah well and you've got um, kind of a crossways muscle along the the top there too i i would say definitely yeah, yeah. Th the, that's supposed she, to be like the waist or, or not not the waist but like i don't know what that, that's called but yeah pelvic no, no. pelvis lower yeah lower torso okay. yeah now, I, I think that the shape of the leg overall is actually very good, but definitely the anatomy. I, I would I would spend a little bit of time, you know, going through and, and just really learning all of your anatomical placement. But, you know, the shape of the leg yeah. looks good. I got a new anatomy course coming out, everybody. Sorry. Awesome. Shameless plug. My bad. <laughs> So, so when's I it coming? A shameless plug. I'm joking. So I pay the bills. I gotta do it. I gotta. <laughs> when's it coming out? Place. Um, well, I'm gonna release the first three this. segments of it uh, this month. So it's actually a cover uh, arms, legs, torso, and then I gotta add head and neck, hands and feet. Then I gotta go back into the skeleton, and then the veins, and it just never stops with anatomy, right? You're gonna be working um, on that course for ever. Yeah. And well, then as yeah, soon as here, as soon as I'm done, I got to go back and make it better, right? Yep. So here's a hand I did really quick, just pulling that up real quick. Nice. Uh, very yeah. blocky. Uh, the index, yeah, the index finger, it like the middle, the middle section, of the finger just like seems to be almost missing. Um, thumb looks a little weird to me. I'm not sure about. How, I'm not sure how that uh, arm came out. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make that same hand over. There. I I okay so so I I watch a lot of anime and I read a lot of manga and in those series they do tend to make a lot of impossible hand gestures right um so yeah yeah definitely is it is really hard I guess it I guess this is more or less what I was going for yeah well, I mean, the good thing is the fingers are all going in different directions because they can do that. The bad thing is when you see people do this a lot, you know, they make the hand too even. So you're not, yeah. I would, I'd say it's better to do that than this, but it's yeah. still, what oh, do you yeah. think, Dave? Well, I, I think the thumb is fine. Where, where you're having a little bit of trouble is just from, if I turn my hand to the angle where I see the thumb like that, then uh, you can't have your index finger pointed out that way it would have to be pointed this way and you want the angle to be much shallower than getting down here yeah, okay so you because you're anyway but yeah pointing the finger out the way that you did is what i think is throwing you with the thumb and making you think the, the thumb is wrong if i cover oh the thumb, good good point 
I still, I, I don't like to see finger, like, your fingers naturally curve in towards your palm. Oh. Um, like if I splay them, they all curve in toward the palm. And the way that you've got it, you're, you've actually got them curving out away from the palm. So, you know, I, I would say you, I'm not pointing at the camera, but yeah, you can see how they're all angled in like a, like they're holding a little ball here. So I think that would be a big yeah. help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good point. And then uh, really quickly, since everyone does comic panels, I did a redraw from One Punch Man. Just so here's mine. Here's the official work. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, it looks really good. Nice. All right. All right. Well, I that's pretty much it. I I could show you a tons and tons more art, but we'd be here all day. So yeah, yeah, we got to try to see as many people as online. possible. Yeah, yeah, thanks. All right. Thanks, Jeremy. Cool. Keep it up, man. You're doing good. Yep. Thank, oh, thank you. you. All right. Yep. Take Have care. One. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay. And so next we have, well, we would have Chris, but we're going to skip him and go to the next person. Just kidding, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even react. He was so stoic about it. It's like, <laughs> he, he just knows. Like, this dude's kidding. I'm getting used to your hijinks. I know, I mean, it's I'm very uh my girl would say I'm very predictable. Um so what do we got? What do you got to show us? I'm gonna try to hold my webcam. Hopefully that's um... oh cool. I like that building. So we've been draw drawing for about four months. Um, what's, I drew a lot of comic. These art. People? I drew yeah. a lot of comic art, you know, 25 years ago, but I recently uh, got back into it. Um, where would you say you are right now from where you were 25 years ago? Oh, leaps and bounds ahead. Yeah, it's amazing. Even though you don't do it for years, you get back to it, and you know, it's kind of like riding a bike, and then you grow on it fast. Yeah, that's really cool looking. Um, I love that face, and really, the hands are great. The, no, yeah, the not, hands. like the fingernails look really good. They look recessed yeah. into the into the flesh of the fingers the way they should. Like it, they look really good. You just had to say flesh, didn't you? <laughs> Every live stream, Dave says flesh. Oh. <laughs> I got a um, problem. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. about, this, this is supposed to be a nighttime scene, so I don't know. I, di I didn't want to just make the night sky black. So how would you do a nighttime scene like that outside without making everything black? I just leave it to the colorist. Now you're working in black and white. Yeah. Um, you still just leave it white, trying to draw a black sky. Unless you have something light in front of it, and you always want to think in terms of contrast. So it, that second panel, which I love, by the way, the first one's great too. But I love the way that you did the black and white uh, with you know the white path and those pillars. It looks great to me. Um, the white sky works perfectly for that. I, I think actually the way that you did the clouds kind of hurts it. Yeah, I, I yeah. I experimented with the the tissue paper, and it, I didn't like how it came out. Yeah, well, that's always worth a try, you know, but yeah, um, whereas a black sky can work with, you know, black with stars, if you have something light, like that guy's head right. is that's light, nice. so the black sky really works, and that's just, you know, playing with contrast, and because you have so much discretion with a sky, always just use whatever contrasts with what you have in front of it. Okay. Um... Let me show the second page. This is more of a splash page. Like, <laughs> well, it, was, uh -huh. it was right. Cool. Yeah, it's crazy. I like the way you did the side of the character, I like the, the serratus area or whatever. It just, it's kind of messy, but it almost works. Like the way you shaded it and pulled in the shadow. I think that looks kind of neat. Yeah, and the top of his leg connecting to his hip there. I do feel like you're over defining some things and it gets a little bit. I'm seeing a lot of very similar shapes similarly lit. So it ends up being a little patterny looking, but the actual underlying, you know, what's there looks like you have a very good understanding of a lot of the anatomy. So 
I, I think there are places like in the arms where it's looking a little bit well in the arms, the stomach also a, a bit where it's looking like things aren't really connecting together. His, his arm that it would be his right arm. Uh, his, the shoulder isn't really connecting to the arm properly there. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I, since I'm such a beginner, I feel like I should just be, uh, practicing fundamentals instead of trying to do fully rendered inks right now but yes i totally agree and i think that you are so talented clearly and you have such a great sense of storytelling like i love that first page um yeah you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't well, i would yeah, really that's my main question how do i split my time between fundamentals and doing my the original work you know that's actually the goal illustration i would I would look in terms of doing 100% fundamentals, honestly. You want to learn, you know, and you won't get this time back because once you start working, you it's impossible to find that time. To, so I would, yeah, I wouldn't be working on your work yet because you have so much improvement that you could do. I can plainly see with that character there, it's not as strong as the other stuff. And you're always going to have areas when you're learning where you kind of get exposed and you can see where the things that you need to work on. I would absolutely put all of your time into, you know, really, really fundamentally studying anatomy and and gesture and getting all that stuff really working because, I mean, the stuff you have working is is so good. It's worth it. Okay. That's great to know. Thank you. Yep. Keep up the nice work, Chris. Thanks yeah. a lot, guys. Thanks for doing yeah. this. Great opportunity. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for watching. Bye. Very Pleasant work, you know? <laughs> it's fun to look at. Good. Thanks. Yep. See you, bud. Okay. So now, uh, before we keep moving on, Dave, I just want to make sure, uh, you know, your time frame, how many more people you want to see, because they just keep coming in. So we can, you know, I want to make sure we're uh, respectful of your time. Um, yeah, you know, I was, I was really thinking, uh, I kind of wanted to wrap it up at 11, but we're only three minutes away from 11. So let's not do that, but okay. maybe, you know, what do you think? 1130? I think that's, that's a good yeah, amount. I think if, if we, if we can try to finish who's in the studio, maybe, and I can just say, okay, anybody else joining in, we're going to have to cut it short. Is that, do you think that's doable? We'd have yeah. to move through a little bit faster though. Sure. But yeah, I'd, I'd rather get everybody in at least. And yeah. Okay. So everybody watching, we're gonna we're gonna complete who's in the studio waiting now. Uh, hopefully, everybody that's in the studio now. So uh, from this point on, if anybody jumps in after I eliminate, or sound sounded bad after I get the next person out of there, I'm just going to uh, you know cut it off. So uh, so if you're in the studio now, uh, you should be fine. So let's go ahead and go to the next one, which is uh, Az, I believe. Az. As it, sorry, I, you know, yes. four four letters, and I still managed to mess it up. No, you, you guys are fine. This is an honor to be here, actually. Uh, Thank you. So I appreciate I appreciate you guys taking your time and doing this for all us starving artists. Oh, it's a pleasure. God, I'm so hungry. yeah. I should be already uh, linking up a screen share because you yeah. know my ugly mug anyway. So well, it's actually just like a white dot with a little. Gray oh, do I not have my screen share going? There's no, there's no ugly mug there. Oh. Well, you I get that. <laughs> Jordan Seward says, great stream, Robin, Robin, Dave. Thank you so much, Jordan. I always see Jordan on uh, on my stream, so it's great to see oh, you. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Jordan. Appreciate that. So, yeah, this is uh, just finished my first comic, 48 page. Uh, I'm Whoa. 41 years old, so <laughs> it's about time I do this because, yeah. And I just wanted to see what you guys thought. Yeah, I mean, you did it. You just did a 48 page book. Yeah. I mean, that right there, high five. Uh, that's, yeah. that's that's an Thank awesome you. feat. Thank you very yeah. much. Yes. And one question I have for you guys is time management, because I've got kids, family, job, and uh, this has been two years in the making here, and I need to speed this process up. And uh, any tips or anything would be excellent. Uh, you know, with the amount of detail that you're putting into, if, if the other pages are anything like this one, and doing 48 pages in two years with family, you know, kids and a job, mm -hmm. I'd say is already actually 
<laughs> impressive at, at this right. point. Right. Well, that gives me encouragement then. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah but yeah, yeah, this is, I've, I've been drawing comment, you know, comic book characters and everything. And then the first thing I uh, actually settle on is uh, no superheroes, no real action. It's just mainly, uh, you know, drama ridden story. And it's, I've been rolling with it and I've, it's really exciting. Uh, but man, I, I get myself uh, into these detail, you know, like yeah just <laughs> yeah that's mm, great cool yeah i like that I like that last yeah. panel yep yeah all the way around the, the guy with the hands in his pockets i like how you define the suit you know it's like it's just enough reference that it it looks uh it looks really believable but not reference to the point where it just looks like any kind of a photo or whatever it just looks good right you know? excellent and then I have to show you. Well, this is these. These are the only two action pages in the comic. <laughs> like that's that's pretty much it. Uh, well, that's a heck of a punch. That is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is pretty neat. That's great. But yeah, the thing I'm most proud of is the double splash. And I'll just real quick because I know you got other people to go to. But there are uh, 500. Let's see. Let's double click on this thing. Holy moly! Yeah, this took ages and that, ages. That thing's stressing uh, me out. <laughs> 540 people in the shot. Wow. That's really incredible. Wow. You're just a what? glutton glutton for punishment, aren't you? I tell you, yes. I get myself started, and then I'm like, why do I do this to myself? Mm. But there's even Waldo's in here. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <bad. laughs> yeah, there are some really great-looking figures in there, too. Like that girl over, leaning over the balcony just on the left there. Yep. And, you know, it, well, all of the, the ones that are closer, you got people kissing there. Like, really <laughs> very expressive. I, I think it was a good move to do this yeah. kind of book, you know? Because it seems to suit your your work really well. Oh, did we lose you? I think we we might have. Okay. Hold oh on. no, lose you guys. There, okay, yeah, we just for a moment. We yeah, but up. looking good. I don't I don't know what to add other than you know you you talk about time management with it and it looks like you really enjoy and love the detail. So that's that's a hard call. Other than you know try to take advantage of the simplifying when you can, uh, but you can tell you really enjoy detailing. So yeah, I think you're just you're in it for the long haul. Yep, you like these types of shots and the detail, and you're going to put it in anyways probably, but. Any tips on that, Dave? I mean, sometimes it's making good use of shapes of shadows, right? So that you can really save on areas or no? I don't know. Well, the shot choice, like the way to do this page, if you wanted to draw it, you know, to a deadline and really fast would be to uh, draw like a big pillar in the foreground, shadow it out, and then have like, a, you know, a, a couple of people right beside the pillar, you know, maybe shadow most of them out. You can see or you could even just shadow them if you really had to and then draw some indications of people with like the smoke on the dance floor. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. You gotta be tact You gotta use some tactics and overlay yeah. some things and, and then do like some lights, you know, so you've got just point a couple lights in different directions and all of a sudden it looks something like a club and you could do it in a couple hours. That would be the biggest cheat way I could possibly imagine to do it. Right. But I mean, you're certainly not going to get that out of it and the, the, you really, you get what you put in. So, yeah, yeah. No. No, that was amazing stuff. We yeah. lost some for some reason, but uh, I guess we'll just have to move on because we're running short on time anyways. But, uh, okay, so next we have Wolverine. <laughs> Hello, Logan. I can't believe no one else dressed up. I feel <laughs> very vulnerable and naked this right is now. Awkward. This is so this awkward. Is, this is like so weird. I didn't fully get the concept of what you guys were doing. <laughs> You're both amazing. Up, Thank you so, so buddy. much for being wonderful. Oh, um, yeah. We you. try. <laughs> I look like an idiot. Um, so lately, um, I watched both your work. I'm going to be using your Skillshare and using your new uh, anatomy courses. I've been doing a lot of two-minute gesture drawings. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, yeah, cool. Just trying to get them out quick and try to. My biggest issue, I feel, is like I'm very stiff. 
So um, a lot of what I've been working with now is just kind of trying to find movement in what I'm doing um, before I lay the anatomy on it. That also mm. reminds me of some Bern Hogarth right there. Yeah, yeah, it's I didn't use that for reference, but I can kind of see where that comes from. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Can I share my screen for a second? Yeah, go right up. So I uh, I did this um, uh, share. Okay, uh, I think you might have to do that. So um, oh yeah, did it pop up? Yeah. So this is one I did. Um, tell me if you can see this. I did this uh, not, a couple of months ago. On. Yeah, I don't see it, bud. Hold on, let me try. I'm, I'm probably just not smart with computers. Um, your entire screen share. There we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, bring it uh, in. So I did this, um, and now it's gone. Uh, there it is. So I did this a couple of months ago, and I just wasn't happy with the anatomy so much. What happened to it? Oh, there it is. Got a different one. Can you guys see that okay? Yep. So yeah. um, I wasn't um, thrilled with the anatomy of them, so I started uh, kind of going back to basics and kind of working in modeling tone, even uh, staying away from ink as much. So I kind of moved away from this, and then um, I went towards just trying to get kind of the anatomy a little better in modeling tone. So this is kind of what I came up with. Yeah. Well, it's um, much stronger. I, I think it was a good call for sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. I can see the, the anatomy looks like it's, it's working a lot better in this one. Um, and I think anytime you really completely change how you work, you're going to grow too. Yeah. So, so I went from there to there. And then um, I wanted to show you guys also, I know that you, uh, you guys are fixed for time here, but I um, I uh, I sculpted in uh, polymer clay too, which I think has helped me a little bit, like get an understanding of uh, anatomy a little bit. So this was actually a Raphael I uh, sculpted not too long ago. I know it's not huge, so um, obviously the muscles are overemphasized there a bit. Yeah, it looks great. Very yeah. cool. <laughs> But um, what I just recently did was you had uh, you mentioned to someone earlier, Dave, um, that um, I think they did a clothed figure, and you had suggested like um, um, you had suggested uh, doing the underlying form first, and then basically after the form was built in, then adding the drapery and whatnot. Yeah. So a stretch for me. Um, I just recently started a, a Joker sculpture in polymer clay. And I did kind of what you had said, where I don't know if you guys could see that. Um, okay. Yeah. So obviously, um, it's there's, it's really just um, the form now. There's no head or hands or anything yet. But um, I did kind of what you suggested first before I started layering like clothing and drapery and stuff like that. Well, that's yeah, that's great, and I think it makes all the difference in the world. You know, it can be really difficult to if you have just a sleeve you know, to know why it's not really working or why it's kind of coming off. But if you get that yeah. arm, everything, all the muscles are working properly underneath, then it, 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 I'm sure that there are people that have been sculpting for years or drawing for whatever that can just draw the shirt, you know, right, right. I never, I still don't do that though. I still make sure to structure it first. It's so. helping me in both things too. Like, like going hand in hand because you discover weaknesses that you don't even realize you have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's the way to grow is to, you know, always, well, I, I think the way that you're going from one style to completely like polar opposite and your approach is, is going to make you a better artist just to having to fight your way back to being comfortable again, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. So, that's cool. great. Well, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your time and uh, I'll be on your Skillshare and checking out your new anatomy stuff too. Yeah, thanks, uh, yeah, Charlie. Thank you. Keep thanks it up, man. The, the Wolverine mask was great. I can't yeah, believe that was I'm awesome. On. I can't believe no one else thought of that. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> You're an Later. original. All right, see you, man.
Okay, um, so before we add the next one, I just want to make sure that everybody knows the last person we'll be able to get into or get to here that's in the studio is Andrew. So I don't want to keep anybody else waiting. It's so if we can't keep adding more and more because, uh, you know, we got to re be respectful of Dave's time. He's already went over for us, which I'm extremely grateful for, Dave. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. He's tired. He needs some sleep. <laughs> uh, Alec, how you doing? Great. And you already got your screen ready to go. Good job. Yeah. So, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, thank you, David, uh, for going a little late because, uh, and you too, Robert, because you guys would not believe like the ridiculousness I had to do to get here. <laughs> yeah, you've been waiting uh, would, a while. Sorry about that. No, no, no. I was, so I was in the stream originally, like at the start time and I was in the lobby ready to go. And then like, I kid you not, I'm like two people from being on. And then my power goes out in my apartment, and oh yeah, wow. I saw you. I saw you yeah. comment on that. Yeah. <laughs> and so I went to my buddy's house, and I'm in the I'm in the lobby again. I'm like again, I'm like two, three people out from being up, and then his Wi-Fi goes down, and I'm like, when is this like gonna end? And so, anyway, I got back in. I wanted to. You made it. That's persistence. <sighs> and that's yeah. that, folks, is what it takes to be a comic artist, right, Dave? Persistence. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uphill both ways. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, I, I wanted to start with showing you guys uh, the work that I showed you in July. Uh, this is where it was at. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I remember, yeah. You guys, you guys gave me some feedback, which was incredible. Um, and uh, this is this is where it went from there. Um, I remember Dave, you gave me wow. some very specific yeah, feedback the ink, about the trailer the, brought it together. Uh, yeah the castle about the leaves here um in the first rendition you didn't really see much of this town here i i gave some indication of you know these you know meteors or whatever it is i redrew the meteors entirely because before they looked a little bit sad i cannot believe that second i guess it would be the third panel that it was like a three panel yeah that's that a good is three so points. awesome yeah Love how you did that that's so cool. And I love the next panel too, which I couldn't really, I had trouble with before. I, it was a little, anyway, it looks like a great impact. I like how you rendered out of it. It just, it looks like it's hitting, whoops, hit my microphone. It looks like it's hitting uh, like a four shield. Uh, it looks great. Yeah. And that's gotta be a, you know, that's a tough thing to really convey and you did it well. And I moved up the character on the bottom here. I, I drew the force field around the castle this time. Uh, and then you guys know uh, Jimmy Reyes. Um, I yeah. was on his stream last Saturday. He also gave me some feedback on it. So I'll show you then where it went from his feedback. Um, I gave an indication of the force field here in the first panel, just so it's not something that comes out of nowhere. Yeah. I, I actually uh, added more shadow around the girls. I redrew some of their their folds. I remember some feedback from both of you about that. Um, and then I, I brought the, the dome down because before it was, uh, he, he confused it. Maybe it was a, a moon or something behind it. So I think this just, it just reads better as a force yeah. field. Now. It does. I, I think if it were me, those last two figures, I wouldn't silhouette them the way that you have it now, just cause you, they're black against a black background. And I know yeah. you've got a line defining it, but I always, I consider a silhouette against a black background even with a line, always a mistake. So the way I would solve that is just um, either just, well, really, if it were me, the way I would solve it is just to draw them, to be honest. I think it would work the most effectively and, you know, light them normally. Uh, but if you really wanted to shadow them because they're, the light is kind of coming from uh, that, everything is happening in front of them. I would say if, if, if that's the case, you definitely want to have a stronger shadow on the ground coming from their feet, Got like it. out toward us. Yeah. And then just do like a, a core shadow that is, so you only see like a rim light around them. And by rim light, I don't mean like a little, I mean like a... You're seeing you know, some form wrap around them. Yeah, just a little bit of, and then I, I think it would really, um, they would pop against the background because the way that it is now, they... They definitely don't. Yeah, everything else kind of has three dimensionality, and then they're yeah. they're a bit flat. Yeah. yeah, and I mean the way it is now, like the rest of that page is uh, very very strong. I love what you did with that. 
I love what you did with the first panel too, because it looks great. You know, it, it really does. But the yeah. second panel is so much stronger. Getting rid of the black shaped trees and the way the further background, it's a big, big difference. It just it looks so much more polished. Yeah, so I, more. your feedback uh, was invaluable. And so the, the same thing I want to show you guys real quick is the process here. Uh, just the same thing. Uh, so here's what it was before your feedback. Um, and then we'll go through after your feedback. And then I'll go wow. through after Jimmy Reyes's feedback too. So I remember uh, you gave a lot of feedback about the top line here on him. Uh, I actually redrew this panel too. But uh, the line here, you said it was a bit too too thick. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went and actually added more detail to him, more shadowing to make him seem uh, just more more form. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's great. A lot more detail on the face, gave him some stubble, all that. Um, I I remember this was a big uh, big problem you had was that these touched the edge of the page, and that this uh, panel here was not reading very well just because the shadow. Yeah. Uh, so I, like you said, put in some cobblestone. I actually formed his shadow uh, better with the silhouette of the axe as well. That way, yeah. you're also seeing that, and it's not just something that comes out of nowhere. Yeah, it reads perfectly at an instant glance now, and it it's a dramatic looking shot. It looks great. And then uh, this first shot, I I redrew. Uh, I think, to be honest. Uh, I probably overdid it. I think I did a, a bit. I both overdid it and didn't do enough. I don't think I, I addressed the set enough. I don't think there's enough people for what's going on here. I um, Well, I, I do agree that you overdid it. I think it looks very busy and not in a good way. Yeah, you know? yeah I would agree uh, with that. And uh, part of that is the building that's in the background there, the uh, barn, I think, um it's got a black wall but it's it's trying to figure out where the light is coming from it looks it's coming from the right basically yeah. uh yeah there i just don't really see a lighting plan mm -hmm. really and with the ground the, the way that you rendered the 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 um, stonework, it just, it really gets very busy. I think it, it's too much black and then black layered on top of black also. Um, yeah, I think that one got away from you for sure. It did, it did. And uh, I don't want to be someone to try to explain it away, you know? No, 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 it, look, it, this has got to happen. You know, this is like really, and the stuff that you're doing well is so good. And you're also, it's so, I can't tell you how great it is to see you uh, come back and and have stuff like that fixed and looking so great. So yeah, no, uh, there's nobody out there that I've ever heard of that that can get better without having stuff like that happen. Thanks. Uh, and if I can just show you real quick the uh, the Jimmy Reyes uh, edit now, I he was having trouble with uh, the the page order. Uh, so I joined some of these panels, and I think that it actually reads easier uh, in comparison. And he uh, gave me some uh, tips about this final panel as well, about how uh, this perspective felt off to him. He wasn't really getting the vibe of it. And so I went in and uh, and redrew this this guy to be more menacing. And yeah, I was say, he, looks, he looks a lot more menacing in that one. He does, yeah. And now, truth be told, I, I really liked it. I really liked how she was in the the first version, mm -hmm. silhouetted against the front of him that way. I mm -hmm. thought that actually really looked good. I like that more than more than how she is now. But how she is now still is fine. I just I really liked the way that you did that shot. But yeah. with her, I just I thought that was really effective. But I do agree that yeah, he certainly looks a whole lot more menacing there. It's a better looking shot. I also redrew the bottom left panel as well, uh, just because I, I noticed I wasn't varying my camera angles uh, very much. And so a lot of the stuff was very straight on. Yep. Uh, and so I 
did a bit of an upshot or still a bit straight on, but no, it's definitely better, more dramatic. Yeah. And it, the thing is, that, like he mentioned, the main thing is that you are you are open to fixing the mistakes and reworking them and bringing them back to the table. Um, a lot of times, that's what it takes to work on any real big production is changes. And if you're not if you're slow going or you're not open minded to that, it's going to be really hard to work. Uh, for a lot of people because changes are going to happen and the quicker you can think on your feet and make that happen and be easy to work with it goes a long ways mm -hmm. yeah I absolutely it. uh i i have a, a question or two for you guys too about after this uh is kind of where i want to go from here right uh i could take your feedback on this page over and over and over again and i could make this uh great but what i want to do hopefully is get some more general feedback from you guys on about what I'm doing and see what I can take to future projects too. Cause I, I want to continue to refine this, you know, but it's not the only thing. Right. I wanna, of course. Okay. Uh, okay. So I think the strongest things on this page for me are the, the guy pointing that face especially is great. And the girl right above him. I love that face. I love how you did it. And I feel like you really lost that when that look with the bottom left, which is a better, well, not better than that panel, but it's a better panel than what was there before. Mm -hmm. But you lost that kind of that style. I would really work on what you had working with that face. Uh, I would work on being able to draw something that quality and that appealing looking from different angles and make that face don't worry about that face in particular, but just in general, I think if you could make all your women's faces look that good, uh, you'll be in great shape. And then, um, uh, I would really, you know, I, let me just recommend if you don't mind, uh, um, Ed, I'm looking at my, I'm so bad with names. I've got to look at the hmm. my bookshelf, but it's, uh, Eduardo Rizzo. Uh, here, I got to show you. Now I, I'm going to have to switch. At least I don't have to draw this time. Hey, everybody loves your drawing. That's why they're here. It's nice to not. This is actually, I, I enjoy doing these, these streams because it can be a little bit of pressure, you know? Monday night comes along. And I'm like, okay, here we go. This is going to be the time when it totally goes to crap. Okay. So zoom me up here. Oh, cool. The point being not this page in particular, it doesn't matter, but he is so incredibly good at composing with shadow and light. And you know, th these things pop because they're light and this is dark and he, and it's, it's a hundred percent crisp. There's no, now it gets a little racy here and there, unfortunately, but um, there's no places where things get uh, a little bit uh, sketchy or, or a little lost. Like, look at how great that panel is. And it's, you know, dark against light here. And then this is light and he's put some dark here, but it's just, it's very yeah. well layered. It's really well done all the way around. Like, I love how he has the dark ground here. And then it, he he uh, has he lets that um, contrast with what he's got behind it. And because this is dark, if he connected it, it would kind of close it off. So he, he put a little bit of smoke there. Anyway, just so many decisions like that. And most of them, like, I, I can't do this, unfortunately. I wish I could. But uh, I really think studying work like like this, and it's a different genre, obviously. Like, it's it's not what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But studying some of his work, my opinion, I think it would, you know, like, look at that panel. I Here, let me make it so you can, I just, just yeah, compositionally, cool. it's, it's great. And there are a million panels like that in here. Now, I love his work all the way around. And, you know, panels like this, which are, are not really, you know, a lighting composition kind of a thing. I love how they look and like, that is such a great composition. He's got the, anyway, I can go on. Point being that, yeah, I would I would say what I would recommend for you to fix that first panel the the best way. Or in, I don't mean to fix it because, you know, you don't want to just be working on this page forever. But 
to get better at those kinds of panels is to look at somebody like Eduardo Rizzo. I think that would really, really help. And we just go through his book and just try and, you know, break down the, his decisions. And you'd be amazed at how modular or, well, how um, easy it is to take concepts that he's doing and then apply them to totally different panel types. It doesn't need to be the same kind of, like, you don't have to draw a bedroom or whatever. It can be any kind of room. It's just his lighting patterns. So, yeah, that, that's what I would say I think would make a big, big difference. Great. Yeah, no, I'll totally, uh, you said Eduardo Rizzo, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll take a look at that. And, uh, you know, next time you guys do this, I'll, I'll have something new to show you guys. Thank you so much for your uh, your time and your feedback. Oh, yeah. Well, pleasure, really. And especially, you know, with you uh, making your work better and, and you know, applying uh, changes, it's it's very rewarding to do it. So I'm I'm happy to. It's great. Yep. Thanks, Alec. Keep up the nice work, man. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye. All right. And next, whoa, that just kind of a one-click thing brought somebody out and brought somebody in. So hey, how's it going, Tyler? Hey, Robert and Dave. Thank you guys so much for doing this. I know it's like approaching that time, so I won't take up too much of your time. Uh, I have the screen share ready to go. Okay, let's see it. It's right here. Can you see? Yep. Okay, so this is, I was actually, I actually drew nice. this. I started this yesterday. I drew it while you guys were streaming tonight, so I finished it up. Um, and I just, my, my overarching question, and, and don't feel free to not, uh, don't hold any, like, criticisms. Like, don't, uh, like, don't hold any punches, so to say. Uh, would you say I'm ready to start, I'm at a point where I can start working on sequential art, or should I continue to practice my fundamentals? That's, that's kind of what I've been teetering on at this point. I would say that you are ready to start sequential art, but you still need to work on your fundamentals. I think that you you can only go so far with figures. Now, there are some things that, and I'll talk about it in a second, but um, working on actual pages and, and giving stuff like that a try is gonna make you better at everything too, because you have to make decisions. And if you're, if you're drawing a panel with you know five different characters and you're actually following a script, you're gonna be drawing characters in ways that you never would just doing pinups. So yeah, you're ready. I, I think, you know, there's, you've got a lot going on that's going on well, like that looks good and it's working. So I'd say for sure. What I would say that you do need to work on, like Superman's arm, I think looks great. The shadow on his tricep is too high and too flat at the bottom. Like it's not placed properly. It's, uh, it's it's weight like it, if you imagine the arm as a tube, you've got the whole thing lit well at the bottom of the tube, away from the light. That shadow is way up into the light on his tricep. It's it's too high for how the form goes. So you know, that's a very specific thing to complain about, but that really pops out for me because the, overall the arm is really good. I think uh, I I think his his stomach looks good. I do think that his secondary like you've got your. In your six pack, you've got the top two pack, and then the bottom, the middle two. The middle two are always a little more narrow than the top, or at least the way that I do. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing All it right. wrong, but they look long to me. I think his belly button would be a little, you know, a little lower. Yeah, I, they, okay. they move around. Everybody's belly button's a little different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like ears higher, and, lower. Yeah. Yeah, but he's right though. Top two, well, there's two more above that on it, you know, right below the uh, pecs or whatever. But yeah, in the superhero way, that's like, like an armor plate that's right there. Yeah, so that Ooh. looks like the top two there. But yeah, it's, <laughs> but I think the uh, the way you're doing the rib cage is kind of working. You know, you're bowing out that chest, and you got the serratus on the side and the big shadow there. That I like it on Batman. I think it works well there. Yep. Um, I like his cowl. One thing that is a bit weird, and this is a tough one, I struggle with this too, is like the placement of, of Superman's neck and his, you know, trapezius and all that in proportion to his shoulders and his chest. It feels like he's kind of contorted back, like it's it's almost stretching his neck a bit. Mm -hmm. But that's, uh, you know, neck position is, is always a tough one. But I feel like all that could kind of just but I, move over to the left but i feel like his the look of him is really good like that face and the hair it's 
It's definitely Superman. It is. I think his neck has just shifted over uh, too far to his left shoulder. Right. Just if you took the whole thing, or if you just made his whole chest a little wider. Like if you left the whole right shoulder, that whole thing, and then just, you know, brought the other shoulder out a little bit and recentered the S. However you want it, if you wanted to do it. But I, I do think his, his neck, while his this muscle is connecting in the right place, from that angle, it wouldn't, it would kind of, turning the, the neck that way, this muscle wouldn't be going back in the head back there. It, it really extends out that way. Right. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I definitely agree with um, all the things you guys are saying. So I definitely uh, can improve on those elements a lot. Now, and those are uh, that kind of thing. And uh, by the way, uh, and I agree with Robert 100% that, you know, the face looks great and it's appealing looking stuff. Like it's, it's nice looking work. I would say uh, things like the neck, those, they happen to everybody. Everybody has to go through it, you know, and uh, uh, gesture drawing, which I'm sure you're doing, you know, and um, and the more figures you draw, especially looking at other artists and, you know, um, studying the way that they move their figures, it solves those problems. Excuse me. I think Batman looks great. His lower leg, though, um, looks a little flat to me. Fair. Leg anatomy is definitely a, an area of anatomy that I need to um, put a lot of focus on, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a tough one. Yeah. And, and it's, it's not as fun. It's like not, they're not, they're not, yeah. they're not as fun as drawing as like chests and arms and stuff. So, you know, you kind of, it's kind of the thing, like for me, I got like bite the bullet on. It's kind of like background for a lot of people, especially for me. I know I need to focus on backgrounds as well. Um, that's why I do. Uh, that's why I am interested in getting into more substantial stuff, so I can force myself to draw those things I, n I normally wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, I have another. This is just another, like just like a group shot. Just another example. Of, like, yeah, it's cool style. I like yep. Robin's look a lot. Like the, you, you really captured him. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and I like Alfred. That's like it's very yeah. on yeah. on model Alfred. Looks great. Yeah, that whole thing works good. Yeah, I feel like the the thing that needs the help is the stalag tights, mites, whatever on, ones around the top. Um, I feel like they they seem a bit mushy, you know, for the forms. Maybe add more angles and chisel those out a bit more. Um, but yeah, the characters are great. Yep, I'm glad you guys are digging my style. At least it's something I'm I'm very like uh, conscious about. I'm always trying to improve right. on. And here's just yeah. here's a headshot, just to give you an example that I can do like closer up, like headshots. Headshot yeah. That's cool. It's great. I love how you did the hair. It's really, really nicely defined. Yeah. Thank you. I'm I'm really I'm gonna I've actually been watching Dave um your Nomen workshop videos a lot, um, especially for like uh anatomy. Um and I'm gonna start checking out your uh Skillshare too. And Robert, I'm gonna check out some of your anatomy classes as well. So I'm, I'm thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'm always just trying to do, I do a lot of the figure drawings that uh, you guys describe and I do a lot of like studies from like master studies. So um, I'm hoping in a few years I can get some work at DC. I'm, I'm really uh, committed and I'm, I'm, you know, I obviously I do it for fun and I do love drawing as a hobby, but I'm, I'm really trying to get like on a different level. So, yeah. Well, yeah. Best of luck. I think, you know, the stuff is looking really good right now. It looks like it's coming along, and uh, DC is a good place to work. Highly recommend them. <laughs> good awesome. people over there. Thank you guys so much for your time. Have a great night. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Thanks for being here. Okay, and so now, oh, what do we got there? What did I do? Did I do that? I... Don't I don't know <laughs> what in the world is going on. We got a virus, folks. Okay, so uh Dave, there's still one, two, three, four. Are you up for that? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, do you want to kind of move faster through these? So, like uh sure. maybe you guys, uh, I'm gonna bring you in. Let's do let's do your best pick, okay? Because it's way late. And sorry, I know you've been waiting, but Dave, Dave and me are tired. I'm I think I'm more tired than Dave. Okay, so uh Mike, if you can, how you doing? 
How's it going? Um, I'm gonna need uh, just a bit of help on your end, uh, if you can, Rob. Uh, yeah, what's the up? The rituals I was gonna put up aren't really posting on the chat. Um, I think Dave, my memory from his other, I'm Michael Johnson Curry. Um, <laughs> cool. You could yeah. go to my site, uh, Rob, MikeJC.com. On the sequential section, you'll see my uh, sequential I have that I was going to uh, show you guys. Right, let me see if I can do this. Michael Johnson Curry? Mike. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Well, nice to, you know, feels more like see me you. when I can see you. Yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay. And then uh, what, what's the site? Uh, is it MikeJC.com? Is yes, that sir. It? That is it. Art of Michael Johnson yes, Curry? Sir. Okay, and then go to which page now? Sequentials. Sequentials. And okay, let me top, uh, share. Yeah, I have three uh, pages, but I guess the only ones of note will be the, you can skip the first page, but the next two. It's a uh, okay, let me Captain America, Squirrel Girl, and Man Thing uh, sample pages I did. Uh, let's see, in this one. Okay. And then what's... Well, the first one was an establishing shot, but then the, the next two pages were the pages I was hoping to get a look at. So that, that first page you see is just the establishing, and then these two pages here. So that's the first is... page. Uh, yes, sir. Is this, is this right? Yes, sir. Just scroll down. Yeah, no, I, I like the style of this very much. Well, yeah, like, it's such I... a great looking car. Yeah, I, mean, I, lo I love her face. That's, yeah. that's excellent. Excellent style. I, I, look, the rest of it, I've, I've seen a version of this, I think. And, uh, but yeah, it's that car just like really stands out for me because it's so unusual that, you know, uh, you see. Yes, I uh, uh, well. used uh, basically just videos as reference and uh, drew from there uh, and went from there. So that's the, uh, uh, the shot she walks, Squirrel Girl walks in. They get alerted. Um, well, you know, I, I probably shouldn't be explaining to you, but yeah. And that's the uh, the next page is the follow up shot uh, with a man thing. This one? Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, very cool. Yes, yeah. See, I like that low camera angle and those poses. They work really well, and that's not that's not an easy shot to draw. You know, that's uh, that looks good. Yeah. Really well done. Yeah, excellent. So I guess um, uh, I wasn't sure what any advice. I know I'll try to keep it as quick as possible. I wrote my questions and everything. Um, basically, what should I do now? Like, I've talked to Dave about this. Um, a lot of problems on my end. Uh, I actually do a weekly comic. Um, I post work all the time. I've done multiple graphic novels, but I, I keep getting ignored. Um, and the uh, I've gotten to, I try to keep track of my emails because I had this kind of thought that, you know, Todd McFarlane sent out over 600 emails. So I was like, okay, uh, I'm sorry, mail. So I was like, if I can send out uh, 1,600 emails, I could probably match what McFarlane did, but it really hasn't led to much. I think I stopped counting it around like uh, 700 emails. And um, uh, the few publishers that get me back are just saying like, we already have professionals working for us right now. There's really no need to hire you. And like uh, an art agent I, I tried to speak to, uh, he was like, you're just nowhere near the level that's hireable by anybody. Um, and I've would, gotten work. I don't agree with that. Uh, no. Well, no, not here's at all. the other thing. Um, I've gotten work, uh, but it didn't pay. Um, a lot of it was uh, either published, it was they were going to publish it and it didn't work. Uh, I got ripped off uh, contracting one publisher even when I was like, hey, I've got to pitch a contract. He was like, well, you know, we have more money than you. You can take the support, but I mean, yeah, you, do you want to do this? So uh, it's hard to get my work out there. And I'm I'm posting on every social media I can uh, weekly. And I'm just not finding, uh, I'm not sure where really where to go now. Yeah, I would self-publish, dude. I really would. I mean, it, you know, I know oh, it, it seems I, like, oh. I was going to say, I did that. Um, I, I tried, I self-published. Uh, through uh, Indiegogo. It's called Zane and the Diesel Crew. And uh, I didn't, I wasn't able to meet the goals uh, because when I tried to pay for uh, advertisers, when they saw the book, they were like, well, this is nothing we want to be a part of. 
and then when I tried to get on like streams or to talk to people, um, uh, they didn't like, I was following certain people on Twitter and they were like, well, we can't, we can't associate with that. So I wasn't oh. able to, I, I wasn't, I, I, I actually posted the whole thing on, it's on my website, uh, Zane and the Diesel Crew, but I published, I self-published, but I wasn't able to acquire the money uh, to actually get okay. the, to actually get it there. Well well, I, I guess what I was saying more or less, uh, yeah, funding is great when you can figure that out and you can develop an audience. Uh, but what I was meaning is I would publish mini comics. Unfortunately, the shows aren't going on right now, but I would do stuff like that so that when you have stuff like that, it becomes a really great way to show publishers what you can do and that you're a reliable commodity that, you know, they look at it and go, wow, he's already doing it. I mean, so it's not so much the pay. And I know, you, you know, it's like I need validation. I need to get paid. But sometimes that'll get you the job with people because they see you producing something tangible um, other than just sample pages, which sample pages are great and these look beautiful. But I was just saying, like, sometimes that can open some doors for you. Um, but, yeah, the money end of it, you might have to do commissions on the side for a while. Um, Dave, any what would you recommend? I'll tell you what, commissions on the side is not a bad way to go. Is that, so, is that something you've ever done? Yes, sir. Um uh, and by the way, just to if I uh, wasn't clear, these are these aren't samples that I I finished. Like if you go to the website, I've done over the last fifteen years, uh, multiple full comics like that are oh, all right, cool, uh, great. So like even on the main page, I'm posting right now an actual full comic. These aren't samples. Uh, gotcha. Uh, okay. I'm showing you my profile. Yeah. Um, I have done commission, but what ends up happening is uh, I can't uh uh. There's no there's no base there, so no one's uh, uh, coming to get commissions. So when I do that, when I offer the commissions, uh, no one bites. So I've even offered like $10 commissions and just just no one took them. Okay. And oh. like I said, I, I apologize, sir. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, you're fine. No, Dave, Dave uh, I mean, what would you recommend there? Um, well, uh, I know you can do pretty well. Uh, the best way to do commissions are at, at conventions, which right. will be coming back. I mean, we're I think we're through most of it by now. Certainly by the end of the year, I think things will be back. I'm actually doing a convention in Canada next month, and there are a few. I've got invites for some in the States. I don't know if they're still going to, but they're, they're actively um, gearing them back up. And... Um, getting commissions at, at a convention is is very different than getting commissions online because you know somebody's right there they can talk to you and interact with you and and they get the picture right there so it's yeah. so much easier you know so i would say and also when you're at conventions the other thing it really is a relationships business a bit you know so if you're at conventions and you're meeting fans and you're you're making you know a connection with them uh, you know, people know people, you have other professionals uh, that are there, you meet them in the green room, that kind of thing. That is, it's, people are always looking for someone, but they're always, like, I, I can tell you, when somebody's looking for an artist or or they're looking for a writer or whatever, people think, what about this writer or what about this artist? And it's always going to be somebody that's already published that they know. You know, nobody's ever thinking, hey, here's somebody that is not published by anybody that we know they they don't think that way but if you're right there and you're doing a lot of shows then you're very much in the mix and i think that you know the work is strong enough that i i to me if it were me that would be the way that i would approach it now you can only control one side of it that's what's so frustrating about it so you know i, I wish i could just say you know this is but i know that is totally what i would be doing knowing what I know and seeing how people get hired for things, you know, it's, it's people that are right there in front of you and, you know, Hey, you know, you know, Bob, I'm doing this book. What do you think? You know, that's how it works all the time. Yeah. It's all about connections and you definitely make the connections by being at the shows. Um, the other thing I just want to say too, you're saying you can't sell uh, commissions in any sense of, of the idea to me, with what you're doing right here, I could see somebody buying a commission of, you know, this look. Like sometimes yeah. it's zeroing in on a certain thing you're doing really well and then maximizing that idea. So like 
for instance, her face and that bus shot. I, I would see, I would try doing a bunch of those with, you know, different popular characters. Harley uh, Quinn. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't, have, I couldn't see somebody not Quinn. right. I couldn't see people not digging that. So it's sometimes you ever go to the shows and you'll see a big display and it's nothing but one thing, but done really well. Like it'll be a, it'll be some guy that does faces real good, and he'll do a whole wall of them faces, and he's slanging them like hotcakes, right? So again, just. Just kind of focus sometimes and you know what you do well and then maybe switch it up and combine that with cool characters that are really hot if nothing else when you do that that stuff that's really popular and you do it with this thing that you do the best um you're, you're going to develop your audience better you know so uh, but I, I would think you'd be able to sell some commissions somewhere ebay something you know etsy store i don't know something you know oh yeah that's what uh yeah yes sir that's what i i tried uh two years ago now i did a okay. uh, 365 days uh drawing characters so i drew a character uh every day um wow. uh, and posted it and uh yeah i made all 365 and uh uh a few like you know there was a month or so i would do my own like original like stories like i do my own comic uh but that was the thing it's, it's just really uh and that was the thing i didn't want to rub to it earlier uh, I was running into, so I've met multiple editors at a convention, and this I've actually mentioned to Dave on a uh, stream. Um, uh, they're very, they're, and I'm not going to call anyone out because I don't think anyone's in the wrong here, of course. Uh, you meet a lot of great personable people. Uh, right. You give them your work and things of that nature, but then when I try to contact them again, it, it's it's nothing. And obviously, I, I don't think there's any answer for that. Um, but yes, I, I did do... I I, uh, I can try it again for sure, um, but I did do that. I uh, did the 365 challenge, made it through, and I mostly was doing just kind of hit characters, uh, trying to learn hashtags and social media, and right. uh, didn't really get any traction. Um, uh, and I really wasn't sure what uh, what more. But it sounds like I, I've been. Uh, that's why I kind of posted in like a, a kind of a drawing form. I was like, what what are the advice that everyone recommends? I want to make sure I've done everything. You know, I'm, yeah. uh, I'm well, and, uh, and I've done you're going to probably, yes, yeah, you're probably going to have to do it and then do it all again. And, and if you keep at it, you will find what sticks. Uh, someone in the chat is even saying, Hey, uh, I, share, I share, yeah, share your social media, please. So we're going to jump off here, go to the next person, but make sure to jump into the chat, share your link. Uh, that way you'll get some exposure. But I think you're doing great stuff, and it's only a matter of time. Just keep doing it. Uh, I know sometimes it can seem like, which way do I go? You know, I've definitely been there. Uh, the thing that bailed me out was doing more, uh, working with some lower budget companies and getting a couple, couple comics published. But then I had that book where I could walk up to publishers and say, hey, here you go. And then even producing a ton of content on YouTube, even though it's video, but I was drawing the whole time, right? I got that book deal from Impact. I mean, I didn't probably didn't deserve that, but they were like, "Hey, you've been doing great on YouTube. Want to do a book?" I'm like, "Yeah, I guess." Like, so you do enough work, it'll come back. Is what I'm saying. But we got to move on, Mike. I wish you the best, buddy. Thank you, yeah. sir. Y'all have a great day. You. you too. Take care. Okay, so now we got. I don't even know how to. Oh, I wasn't over the right button there, figures. And so now we've got Adam. Adam, thanks for waiting. Hey, g'day. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, yeah. All right. Surviving. Thank you. <laughs> is it daytime ever... over there? <laughs> Sorry? Is it daytime over there? Yeah, it is. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> just just before we go, I, I, I'd like to claim this for myself. But uh, thanks, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's the uh, one oh, I won. Put it back. Put it back. Yeah, that's the one I won for um for your fifty k. So. Oh man, I want that. Wow, that's <laughs> great. That's, that's nice. Awesome. Well, congratulations. I'm glad it went to a good home. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's fantastic. Thank you. Um, I have my sh uh, screen shared, so hopefully you can bring that up. So. Oh, where is it? Um, Adam, there we go. Yes. So. Uh, I've been doing the um, the challenges on on your Discord, Dave. And uh, last week's was was um, Phoenix, and I didn't 
end up posting it up, unfortunately. But I just sort of want to know where to go from here because I the shading is where I have a lot of trouble with as well. So, uh, well, you you definitely took a difficult approach in terms of shading just with with that much shadow on a female yeah. figure it can be a challenge you know it seems like it's easier on a male figure you can get away with more mm -hmm. but on a female figure i find i i shy away from a, a really heavy lighting generally yeah uh, but i think what you do have i think it, it, it's good it's consistent i do think though that her her leg, uh, the the one that's bent, her lower leg is dark all the way to the bottom, whereas her breasts mm -hmm. are very light. And yeah, I was I was trying to get the flame to uh, yeah, on the hand to cause the light. So as I said that, it kind of occurred to me. So I, I think I would I would really pull back on the where the lighting really peaks out. I would just cut that off, and so it, it kind of comes out in a low triangle, and I would just cut it there, and I think it would it would work better. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's coming out too far then, and then her neck I think is a little long. Oh yes, yes, uh, that's all black as well because of the costume I, right. that I followed. It was all black, and I just thought oh, it looks weird. But yes, yeah, um, I, I cheated a little with because uh, I did this in Clip Studio, and they have the a three D model that you can. Uh, create, yeah, and I sort of I drew this over the three D model, so they're sort of manga style. So I was trying to alter it to uh, to be a bit more uh, comic style, but yeah, it was I was gonna uh, so yeah, I would definitely bring down the head just a bit. Yeah, uh, you know, your neck always looks longer when your head's raised, and when you lower it, it you know you mm. get a much shorter distance. I would say bringing yeah, the head yeah. down, you know. Um, not half the distance, but mm -hmm. a third anyway, for sure. I think that yeah, would yeah, actually yeah. solve it. Okay, and then, yeah, cool. um, what I would do for her face is just just a little bit of shadow along here, and then come back, and then just along the chin, and then, uh, yep. you know nothing really on the rest of the face, and then just use line weights. Even if it's cheating a little bit, you really mm -hmm. want to be careful to not overlight you know, a woman's face, I think. Yes, yes. I, no, that sounds good. I have, if it's okay, just quickly do one more, which is, again, from the challenge for this week. Um, this is... Hmm. Um, uh, so, Mega Man and Cyclops. Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's this week's challenge on the Discord. And um, I feel like, again, the shadow on uh, Cyclops' back, I just... I. Just going, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I think it's absolutely 100% perfect. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. Yeah. I think actually Cyclops looks great. I think really it does. Perfect. Yeah. That's and, a hard, that's a hard shot. Yep. And uh, yeah, you shattered it out, but that's totally effective when it's done right. Mm -hmm. And it looks right. Like it looks, okay. it looks really good. I, I think it's a great shot all the way around. Oh, cool. Cheers. Thank you. Mega Man for the win. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you're uh, going to do pretty well with this one. Is this okay. this one still going? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one's I'll put it up um probably tomorrow. I might put a bit more shadow in Mega Man uh, around the edges just to try yeah. and I don't know, make him uh, I don't know, he looks a little plain, that's all. I yeah, I'd be very careful though because it has like a really graphic feel that I like. I mean, oh, I don't yeah. be afraid to touch it, I, and okay. I love Cyclops's hair. I think it looks really great. Okay, really cool. well done. Oh, cheers! Thank you. I won't keep you. I say, jump on to the next next people. All right, oh, take yes. care. Thank you. Oh. Thanks a lot, Adam. And Thanks congratulations. Guys. All the best. Yeah. <laughs> take care, buddy. Good job. Good work. Oh, Anthony's back. He says, Anthony G says, Rob, Dave, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for your invaluable insight and suggestions. I really took it all to heart. And thank you for doing this and giving us all your sage advice. Well, thank you, Anthony, very much. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, thanks, Anthony. Very kind of you, bud. And so now we've got Uno Mas. Andrew? Hey. Um, first, thanks so much, guys, for... Um doing this and for um, going over the time. Um, I'll just quickly share my screen. OK. 
Okay, tell me when you're ready. How do you say that last name? Gren Granary? Uh, Granary, yeah. Well, that's the English way. Can you guys see that? Martian Manhunter? Or Not I... yet. No, where is it at? No. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay. Application window. Yeah. And share. Yeah. Is this working? I think so. There it is. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, I, so first I did this as a template because my style was very... Um, wasn't very detailed, very plain. So I did this one to try and understand all of the little, yeah, the little details, like the little shadows on like the knees and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then I, so I took that straight out of the Civil War um, book. Yeah, uh, it's Uchi. Michael Turner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, and I was, I loved it. So I was like, I'll just do that as like a template base sort of thing. And then I did mm -hmm. this to try and incorporate that. I, I don't know. I, I think it looks good. I have noticed that his legs are a bit forward, though, and they're not like they don't look like the position right. What do you guys think? Um, okay. Yes, I, I think it's. Hold on. The legs aren't so much forward as his his upper body is just kind of tilted forward and down just a bit. Also, okay. I don't know how to do it without where here. Hold on. Uh, up him. Oh boy, here he goes again. <laughs> You'd think I'd get quicker at it, you know. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't gonna say anything, but <laughs> it's a multi-step process. All right. <laughs> well, I'll see the drawing because I'm on the thing. Let me it, that one kid earlier in the stream did it with one click. I don't want to hear it, Dave. I know. <laughs> and the thing is I'm afraid to because I could just click the one. But that, It'd probably kick you out. Yeah, that's what happened when like earlier. So anyway. right, no, you're uh, right. Wait, can you guys still see the um the drawing? I'm just to, you're off okay. camera a little bit. Um, I'll break, I pushed no, it I, down. It was in yeah, my face. I put him to solo just so he could explain it real quick. But I'll I'll pop it back in a minute, Andrew. Yeah. Okay. No, okay. Good. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like showing my face instead of the what I'm trying to show. Okay. And so I feel like you're. Now, I can't see the, the drawing, so I'm giving you want me to put them both? Yeah, I can put them both up if you want. Uh, uh, sure, yeah. Okay, let me go back to... Wait a second. I'm so tired, I don't know what button to click. Okay. Hey. What's up with you guys? Bedtime. No, it's uh, 11.57. Jeez. I'm a yeah. wuss, man. I used to, you know, when I was in my 20s, I was just getting started right now. Oh, I know. Tell me when you when you want me to scale back up on what you're doing, David. Just figured this way you can see it. Okay. Um. Hey, Johnny Cage is back. Look what he okay. writes. So I'm ready. Okay, you ready? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I got to get quicker. My bad. All right. All right. So this is kind of what I'm seeing. And the reason why it looks like the legs are a little forward is because it's actually the body that's just a little tilted forward. And then you've actually got the the waist really turned. So um, and the, one other thing, which I'll point out in just a second. But so you've got your, your chest here. Uh, and it, it, it can be helpful to know kind of what your perspective is and you don't need to get crazy with it but when somebody's standing at uh, a bit of a 45 degree angle imagine it like a, a box you would end up with something like this you know it wouldn't just be flat so on a figure you want to kind of think in those terms too so i'm going to draw a line all the way through like this down to the crotch then and you've got the legs together, so I'm going to draw them together. There's one leg. And just drawing a line through and making sure your chest actually arches up like that will solve that problem. And then also you you really kind of round it this way. That would be, since you're following this line, it would be much more flat here. And then it wouldn't be pushing your legs. And now the one other thing I wanted to mention 
is that I'm going to draw a ball for a shoulder here and a ball, just really simple. But since you're crossing your arms over your chest here, it would really project outward and not down so much. I mean, down, but outward. So you'd get something more like, more like this from that angle. And when you push it down like that, it really looks like he's, you know, tucking into yeah. himself. Yeah, because that's, so that's what I was doing. I was like, it sort of looks like he's tucking himself in, but I sort of thought I fixed it. But yeah. So, yeah, that's that's really the fix is just bringing those arms, you know, out over the yeah. chest. So there you go. All right. Good job, Dave. Why, thank you. Thanks, Dave. Um, but yeah, so I think my looks all right. I do need to work on this face a little bit, I think, and we'll face in the future. But um, yeah, I, I think yeah, that's solved it for me. I, just quickly, yeah. So, like, have do you think I have the right details in place? Pretty much. I, yes, for sure. I I do think the his forearm that I'm seeing it looks like just some lines. They're not really defining muscles. So you really want to think okay. of your muscles as overall football shapes that interconnect. And then you're, you're lighting that. And so there's a certain amount of anatomy that you're still missing in there. You need to definitely work on just to, okay. and it, it's, um, it's a process. You, you know, at first you learn where all the anatomy goes, then you learn how to make it all actually work on the figure. And then the last and the longest and most frustrating step is to go from there to, you know, Frank Rosetta. <laughs> and, you know, the way to do that is, I, I don't know, because I can't, but, you know, to get better with it is to look at artists like Frank Rosetta and, you know, copy from that and trying to integrate that into your work and, you know, pick up little little techniques here and there. And it's a it's a process, but that's the only way I know how to do it. Cool. Thank you. Welcome. All right. Well, yeah. thanks, Andrew. Appreciate you having yeah, you. Andrew, no, thank you nice work. for all this. This is this has been so good. Like even seeing everyone else's work, which has been incredible. I like right. pretty shiny stuff up. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Guys. It gives uh, every yeah. it gives everybody some real perspective, and that's important. And you know, you could see where others are doing well, and where maybe you can do better. And uh, and then you just realize that it's a big part of it is just to stay consistent and keep improving, and it's very doable. You got some good looking stuff, so thank you for sharing, Andrew. No, thank you guys. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right, so I think that's it, right? Are we done? I, I, well, I don't know. You got the. <laughs> I'm just. It's on, it's on you. Did. That that's what we said. Everybody that was in there, we got to. I mean, a few people popped in, but it's you know, it could just keep going. So I don't want to do that to you. Um, but you know what? It's it's twelve o'clock. So that's a good. That's a four hour stream. It's a long stream, right? But it felt really productive this time. You know, more so than the last time. I think so. I mean, it's we saw a lot of people and um, saw some styles where people were definitely pro level and ready to work. Uh, yes. You know, we saw some that needed some work, but I think everybody had some real strengths. I mean, it's not like any of them were like, what are you doing here? You're not ready to show your work. I, you know, I don't think there's ever a time you shouldn't show your work, but yeah, yeah, very productive, very cool. Absolutely. Yeah, I really feel Mike Johnson's frustration right now to be yeah. you know, doing that level of work and running into, you know, a brick wall is, that's, uh, yeah, I, I, it can't possibly last forever with work that good, but, but it's it's tough. It is. It's a really hard time, and it's a hard question to answer. Like, you know, I wish so bad, like, it would be easy enough to say, hey, all you got to do is go here, sh keep showing your work, and this is a place where everybody goes to look. But it's not that easy. For It never has been, I guess, and it's really hard without the conventions right now. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, and I thought you had great advice just saying, um, you know, publishing your own stuff and getting it out there and, and um, yeah, thank you, you know, that's, it's the one thing that you really can control, you know, you want to work on, right. on making your, your work as strong as you can possibly make it, but then you want to, uh, you know, try and get it out there and just, you know, heck, if you could do well, you mentioned, or he mentioned anyway, uh, crowdfunding, and he had some trouble with it. But right. man, it's worth it's worth it if you can get that to work. And he should maybe consider trying that again. Yeah, and it's it, there. It's tough because I think you really have to know how to build the audience first. Once you figure that out, crowdfunding becomes kind of a no brainer. Not you know, you can still not get funded, but 
Uh, there, I think with Indiegogo, you get funded, and even if you don't meet your goal, you still get it. And it becomes a, if you do it right, it becomes a, a an online store from that point going forward. But it all comes down to you got to understand how to build that audience first, and then you can do those sorts of things. But what I was really saying is like, hey, if you just make your own mini comics, you're still putting in the work. Something good will come of it. Yeah, um, yeah and and like I, I, re- I think I'm gonna even stop what I'm doing, make a little mini comic just to get the gears turning. And I just remember that was fun at the shows, you know, having that, I, I'd, I'd give some uh, give some away, but that stuff's going out there. It's creating reach, it's creating audience. And yeah, it seems a bit like uh, wishing on a star sometimes, but it's better than, than, you know, doing nothing. Yep, absolutely. Well, thanks for having me again. Definitely, well, pleasure again. to have you, Dave. We'll have to do this again, you know, sooner rather than later for sure yeah whenever you're ready it's on you i know you're a busy guy everybody's very thankful for you making the time that you do to help everybody everybody please remember to check out dave's skillshare his gumroad content he's gonna be making some new amazing content uh i thought there was a a book you wanted to mention i know we should have started there instead of ended there but wasn't there something you wanted to talk about yeah i've got a um it's actually a cover for dynamite it's a red sonia cover uh, and it's it, dynamite has got it up on Indiegogo. It's not up yet. I checked. Uh, apparently it's, it's like coming soon and you can, I don't really know what you can do. <laughs> I think you can, you can check it out and you can like bookmark it maybe, but whatever. Right. It's up there. So I wanted to mention that. Um, I, I actually don't know when he's going to actually launch it, but which means I unfortunately can't show it. We don't have time That's for that anyway right now, but but yeah. Uh, and also, uh, I did a cover for Jimmy Reyes, who I've seen in the chat. He's uh, He's got a book coming called uh, Dragon Rage. I did a cover for that, which I just saw colors for. It looked amazing, beautiful, and uh, you can find it at Page One Comics. That's his site. And, you know, definitely pick up a copy and support a good dude. Yeah. Oh, he's doing some great stuff. It was good to see you guys work together on that. We'll have him on here uh, pretty soon. We've already been in talks with doing another live stream where we focus a little bit more on inking. Uh, so I'm sure there's a bunch of inkers out there that would like to jump in on that as well. And, uh, yeah, so thanks, everybody, for coming. Um, I'm so tired. My brain hurts. So <laughs> I'm going to get some rest. And I yep. uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'd love to see your comments and you know, what you want to see in the future in whatever way, shape, or form, we'll try to make that happen. So thanks very much, and keep up the good art. Great stuff. I can't think of what to say. I'm tired. (laughs) Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Good night. (laughs)